And the other one, he was talking about, like, um, he likes rich music. Yo, guys, hi everyone. Uh, hi, Kathleen and NXS Trip. One second, I'm just going to sort out my iPad. Okay, that's done. Right, here I am. Got here in the end. Didn't get a, a video done over the weekend, unfortunately, or a live stream, but uh, I'm here now. And I guess I'm going to be testing a few people's loyalties here because <laughs> I've just realized that there's a concurrent live stream running uh, from the Elite Dangerous guys. So I don't expect to have too much of an audience tonight, but we'll see. So, uh, sound check. Uh, we, are you, am I coming in okay? Game sounds coming in okay uh, from what you can hear. And hi Robert, nice to see you man. According to my thing it says no no people are watching now, so I don't know exactly how many are on the stream. My iPad's not really updating. Yeah, Commander one 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 zero zero one one zero. Hi. Uh right, Kathina, I I might need you to uh cast your mind back if you can because I, I'm i going to be collecting some of these proto heat radiators or whatever they're called. Um, I know I need them, I just can't remember why I needed them. But I just know that I did. I think I don't know if it was for something to do with the shields or something to do with the weapons. I think it might have been for the weapons. So the idea was to go into a boom system and look for high grade emissions. But I think it was you who told me a system to visit uh, where and I think that might have occurred on the live chat so I didn't have time to go through it and f find out what it was I should have written it down really but uh, if you can remember that system yeah grade 5 efficient if you can remember that system th that I'm supposed to go to then fantastic if not I'll just visit a different boom system and we'll get it from there I suppose Steve Ross, hi, loud and clear, good stuff. That's how I like to be. <laughs> Especially clear, because uh, this is not the best headset in the world. I I am longing for my Logitech G35 headsets. Then. Oh, I didn't really appreciate them until now. Uh, yeah, finding a boom system isn't going to be difficult. It's just... Um, I think Kathina had one where he picked up like 60 odd radiators or something. Um, so, 
at the moment, obviously, my Corvette has got some decent shields on it, which could do with... Me that's the one. Proto heat radiators. Merti. Okay. Hopefully, it's not too far from where I am. And we're going to head there. Um, but yeah, I think my shields are tweaked pretty well. Right now, they could do with some further tweaking, obviously, later on down the line. But for the sake of speed... Oh, lovely, it's really close. For the sake of speed and whatnot, um, I think that we'll concentrate on getting the proto-radiators. And then we can go um, back to... Um, whatever engineer. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. Was it Brew Tarquin? That did the Grade 5 efficient weapons? I can't even remember. I've, yeah. I should have done my homework, but uh, this is what happens when you do a quick impromptu live stream. Does anyone know how many people are watching this at the moment? Because I've got zero on mine. I guess it just hasn't refreshed for some reason. It's on an iPad. Yeah, brew for lasers, I thought so. Okay. Right, well in that case, I think uh, I'm going to turn my game volume down on my laptop and get the hell out. 17? Well, that's not too bad. I mean, I just realised, you know, a few minutes before that uh, Elite Dangerous were running a live stream about Xbox One players and stuff, so... Um, yeah, there's probably some people over there watching that. Um, so yeah, hi everyone, monkey, monkey, and Ad Adrian Termor, Termos, Adrian Termos, Matt Powers, and Chaotic Crow. Cool. Hi Rusty, I've been watching your vids for the past two months. I love watching them. They relax me, and it's like one of them. <laughs> keeping you sane. Well, that's good to know, man. Thanks. Um, yeah, try and keep it relaxing, casual, and uh, yeah, uh, probably people use it to go to sleep with. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Jerika, hi, welcome to the stream. Guess I'm just waiting for Kiwi Guy to come in at some point. So, okay, let's get going then. We need to pick up proto radiators because I just don't have any. So, yeah, this I'm picking up proto radiators in order to get grade five efficient uh, le uh, pulse lasers on this thing. And wow, I didn't even know I was here. I didn't know. Oh, okay. That's why it's caught, caught me by a bit, bit of a surprise there. I'm not lifting off with the proper keys. Hold on. I forgot that I'd landed on this place. Oh, I'm at DD Vate. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I, re I remember. So, yeah, we're going to go and get some proto radiators because that is a requirement for the efficient pulse lasers. And. Yeah, <laughs> you and me both in excess. Um, yeah, so we need to pick some of those up. I just don't have any at the moment. Well, I'll tell you what, no pun intended, but this game feels, feels a little bit alien to me at the moment. Um, I have to actually think what button to press next because it's... I haven't been on it for uh, since the last live stream. I just during the day I just really don't get the time and then come the end of the day it's I'm t generally just too wiped out to to do a video. I don't even know what's going on here. Okay, I just needed to check because my speed looked crap. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cool it down. So, yeah, I see there's uh, three 
alien ruins discovered now, so apparently there's eight or something like that I've, I've been hearing. That sounds interesting. I wonder what happens when all eight's discovered. I'm, I'm still thinking it's like a Death Star system where you have a beam coming off each ruin all converging into one great big beam and that helps the guardians come through I don't know I don't know I'm just speculating but uh, yeah J off Jules S welcome both and that looks like I can get there Again, I'm not using my hot ass, just the joystick. Four, three, two, one, engage. Yeah, you know, yeah, um, it's, it's too much of a trail of breadcrumbs. It is really, but I think I don't know. It is because all the alien ruin sites are kind of the same. It was kind of really interesting when they were unique. It was just that one. Um, but now to know that there's eight of them somewhere and they're all the same and it's just like, you know, hi guys, here's a puzzle game. Can you decode this uh, for a hundred million credits? I guess, it, you know, for people looking for something different to do in the game might give them something to do if they're not wanting to explore or they just need a break but it seems that you know Sothis and Seos and Rubigo are all kind of active in some kind of way so that's uh, that's something that I'm pleased about so I've yet to visit Sothis and Seos to see what's going on but uh, I'm glad that uh, that's happening and also even better if it's happening in other places uh, you know where you're basically three four hundred light years out out from the bubble kind of thing on well not maybe the bubble but you're on the outskirts that far on the outskirts and you can pick up long distance haulage missions that pay well because I think that's I think that's a sensible thing to happen in the game because it would kind of happen in I was going to say in real life but you know it's like long distance haulage it's long it's uh, you know big distance big money and I think that that idea should stay and if it makes people lots of money fine it's costing them their time press J to abort righty Let's have a look. I've... Right, Chaotic Crow. I've been trying to get the rank for a Corvette, but it's literally impossible. Yeah. I've heard... I've been hearing that... Ranking up... Um, to get these big ships now is a real grind. This is what I'm hearing. I mean, I'm ranked up as far as I need to be right now. I'm... A, I'm in the Empire, I'm right at the max. But I can go further in Federation, but I'm hearing it's, it is a grind right now. So... Or at least more of a grind than it used to be. Let's put it that way. Um, for me, when I was ranking up, I just did... On the Empire, I just did a lot of... Um, skimmer missions and trading stuff and... Planetary assaults and whatnot. And Federation, I just did just random missions off the mission boards, and it was okay. But I've heard now that it's an absolute grind. So I don't. I want to read the live chat, but I don't want to miss my uh, stuff coming up. So I'm just going to point it out and see what happens there. Yeah, I took my big ship out of the warehouse. It's because this is uh, now probably part two of this video, and I'm going to um, 
hopefully in this live stream to start uh, upgrading the weapons um, and hoping that uh, I can get to some phase where I can start getting into combat and then you can see me get killed probably because I haven't done combat for so bloody long Boing Zebedee, hi! Uh, night, welcome to the stream. George Coots, hi, welcome. And uh, I'm going to get this wrong. Loit, Loit, uh, Loite co Coffee. I tried. <laughs> I probably butchered it. Was trading out in hip 5623. And I heard two traders saying that there are no aliens, it's just an excuse for them damn fed to expand to where they ain't wanted. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm convinced by that, but hey, you never know. Right, I've just randomly pointed this ship away from the star and uh, I'm just waiting for... USS is to pop up here basically. I like, yeah, I like with the alien ruins, like um, what you said, um, an excess trip. I like to keep up with what's going on and see what's happening, what other people are doing, but I, I can't say that I'm desperate to get involved with it because I know. I'm probably not going to crack it, and there's people out there probably smarter than me that will be able to do it eventually, and it's just going to be a, a, a time sink for me really, I'm just going to be putting in hours into it and, you know, probably not getting too far. Degraded emissions, no good. I'm looking for, although, should I be checking these out as well, degraded and encoded? Is there a possibility of getting proto-radiators into these systems? I think I should pop in anyway and just have a look. Unless, of course, another one pops up in the meantime. But it won't take but a minute to go in and out. I might... I'm... God, I've got 30 watching now. Wow, 33. Yikes. Oh, and I'm so far behind with the chat. Hold on, it's... <laughs> I didn't realise I was scrolling down to keep up with the chat, and of course it locks the scroll, so now I've realised that I've got to catch up, and there's so much. So, yeah, 33 people. Welcome, everybody, to the, uh, to the stream, those who I haven't already thanked for coming. Um... And yeah, we're going to be trying to upgrade the weapons on the old Corvette. But I, before I do that, I need Proto, I think, is it Proto Heat Radiators? Something like that, so... I'm just going to uh, take the opportunity here to stop the ship and uh, let's have a look. Well, nothing here. So I'm just going to, while I'm here, I'm just going to quickly catch up with the chat. Mm, where am I going to go to? Yeah, donation missions. I, I did loads of those to rank up. Oh, I did so many donation missions. Yeah. I, I don't know why they're even called missions, because... Yeah, but... Yeah, they, they do put them on the mission board, so I suppose they have to be classed that way. Uh, almost lost my elite crew in a CZ a couple of times. I think I heard about that. Yeah, I think I heard about that. You don't want to be doing that. Poof. 40% hull. Well, I hope, I hope my ship can uh, put up a decent enough fight, because 
after this, I'd like to get my crew um, ranked up. My my fighter crew. I'd like to get those that guy ranked up as well. Mm, let's have a look. I currently have a fully modded battle anaconda, but I'd like a vet. Uh, anacondas are great. I love them. And I will get another one. I hope they do what they did with the clipper and sell it without having to have the rank for it. Uh, well, you need a rank for a corvette. Um, yeah, you do need a rank for a corvette. I'm not quite sure what that rank is. It's probably the one I'm at. I'm at Rear Admiral. So I think that's as far as I went. Um, because I knew when, once I got there I could I could get the corvette. So I, it's probably Rear Admiral you need to be at. Um, I could be wrong, but hey. Have you managed to sort your computer and stuff in Gibraltar yet, Rusty? Well, I the only thing I've got sorted there is I have contact with it. Um, but as for getting it moved here, no, I haven't done anything on that front at the moment. I'm in a bit of a limbo stage right now, so... Mm, I don't want to make any uh, com commitment moves, if you like. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's, I mean a bit of a, yeah, just a bit of a weirdy limbo state right now between here and there, so I'm going to see how that develops over the next week or so. Uh, right. 35, good, that's good. I found some rats, need to look need to look in high populated systems that means billions not millions uh yeah i'm i don't know how i'm in this system now which apparently has quite a few but what i don't know is what the population is at this place maybe we can uh, take a look i need to throttle up God, um, i think i'm taking off to my name now because my my videos are few and far between at the moment um I am actually rusty. Okay, I need to bring this speed down. I think I was going a bit too fast before. So I'm going to bring the speed down to something a bit more manageable. It doesn't actually matter that I'm going this slow. That's still going to pop up. Commander Snake. Hi. Yes, I'm glad I'm back as well. I know I, sh uh, I should really uh, try and find time to be a bit more frequent. I was really wanting to do a live stream over the weekend, but it just like one thing or another just never happened so yeah sorry about that and I couldn't do it yesterday because I had to travel all the way to Wales uh, which was a four-hour trip there and a four-hour trip back I had to pick up um, a car bonnet a replacement car bonnet uh, and that was a fair old trip and I'd never been to Wales before and it would help if I actually headed towards this thing. I've never been to Wales before but uh, it was cool um, and so yeah I got back late and there was no way I had enough energy either mental or physical to uh, start a live stream so I thought I'm gonna do it tomorrow I'm gonna do it tomorrow and here I am Right, I'm going to have to miss a lot of this chat because I can't keep up. What are your thoughts on the whole multi-crew thing? I think it's, uh, I think it's great. I think it's going to make a brilliant um, addition. I hope it is. Uh, it's yet to be seen. It depends. I think it depends how they implement it. Um, oh, here we go. But. Mm. The implementation again, it's kind of similar to the um, ship transfer. It's we know what I'm talking about, right? The the instant transference of commanders to ships anywhere in the galaxy. It's kind of like, are you going to have teleportation in the game or not? Just say it, because it's. If they don't do it though, I guess you, it compromises uh, playability. Oh, bloody hell. 
I guess it compromises... Wow, I've never seen that before. I'm going to pick that up anyway. Um, yeah, I, I think it compromises play... Uh, it would compromise playability if they didn't do it that way. But... Yeah, I don't know. But if they didn't do it that way, what's what's the answer? What is really the answer that, uh, you know, that a one player ship has to be within, say, I don't know, 200 meters of another player ship and then there's a transfer across. That, but then you can ask, well, how was that transfer working? There's no shuttle system. So if you're going to believe it for 200 meters that it can happen, you might as well believe it for 20,000 light years, right? I suppose. But the idea of having multi-crew, I, I think that it's great. And I like the idea of the gunner being able to do a full 360. But of course, if you want multi-crew uh, with weapons and stuff, you're going to need um, uh, turreted weapons. So are you compromising your ship because turreted weapons are the weakest? Or are you saying, no, nope, I've got a commander in charge now and 360 degrees rotation, so they're going to perform better than, I don't know. But yeah, I think it'll be brilliant. Uh, Camo TM Evo. This is how far up the chat I am. Uh, I miss ED. Been in hospital for two weeks now. Now, when I just read that, I thought you meant Ed Lewis when you said, Ed, I miss Ed, been in hospital for two weeks now. So what happened, man, Camo? I hope everything's okay. And whatever it was, um, yep, yeah, I hope you're getting better and uh, you'll be back, back to normal in no time. Let's have a look. Well, talk about ops. I've got to have an op as well. Yeah, and I can't wait. Uh, I'll tell you about it in a second once I catch up with the chat. Andy K, welcome to the stream. I'm now caught up with the chat. Always a happy sight, high grade emissions. You better believe it, but I need some more. So let's get moving. So I think I'd better come out of this one now. Oops. Wow. Newbie mode engaged. You know, I used to be able to press Shift and W and get maximum throttle, and I can't do that here. I need to go into the controls to do that. Hi, Boran. Welcome to the stream. A brain hemorrhage, oh my god. Well, I'm glad that everything is cool, and that you're here, and that you continue to be here. And if I'm in any way, <laughs> I don't know, no, I'm not going to say it, but yeah, if you're enjoying the streams and stuff, that's cool, that's brilliant. So yeah, I'm glad that everything's worked out and uh, and you got, uh, yeah, you got yourself here. <laughs> Brilliant. Hi Brownie. Yeah, so I've got, I mean, bloody hell, my, my op is nothing compared to yours, but um, a few years ago, when, oof, a long time ago I would say, probably, what, not really long, six, seven years ago, maybe six, five, five, six years ago. I had to have an operation on my right eye because I had a cataract in there and it was really bad. I couldn't, I, it was just, every, my vision was completely blurry in one eye and um, so you get no depth perception and I had to go and have that cut open and sucked out and a new lens put in and all that stuff. Um, and that was, yeah, that was cool. It was all right. There was no problems there. But now my left eye's got it. So I, my left eye's just completely blurred vision. I mean, to the point where light gets in, 
but if you put a car in front of me and I close my good eye, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you what make or model of that car is. I can tell you the colour, but that's it. Um, so I'll be setting up hopefully soon to get that operated on. And yeah, that's going to be... I can't wait for that day to come, because it's going to be awesome. And if anyone's got a cataract or a <laughs> planning to have one, don't worry about it. It's nothing to worry about at all. It's like there's no pain, there's no nothing. It's all you are, all that's required of you is to lie down for half an hour and I don't know, talk to the nurse or something. And that's basically it. So yeah, I can't wait until I get my left lens sucked out and uh, yeah the the lenses they put in are really cool because they've got ultraviolet uh, filters on them and all sorts of stuff so I'm gonna see if I can ask for a, a Borg implant or something maybe uh, you know auto magnification and <laughs> I don't think they do those yet <laughs> yeah Steve it'll go well it's routine operation I mean what we're talking half an hour 40 minutes maybe yeah, it's nothing. Nothing. Um, it's let's put it this way: it's something I'm actually looking forward to. It's yeah. The sooner I get the date, I'm gonna. Yeah, it's gonna be like brilliant. I can't wait for that day to come. So yeah, because I've had one before. The first time I was nervous, you know, because they, yeah, you know, they're cutting your eye open. But uh, when it was done, I, th I thought, what the hell was all that worry about? There was, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. So, yeah. Piece of cake. Rusty the Cyborg. Yeah, exactly. Why can't they give me a bloody uh, Cyborg implant or something? That would be, uh, that would be well appreciated. Some kind of Borg technology. Or maybe some, uh, not VR, what do you call it? Augmented vision. <laughs> They'll probably invent it about three months after I get mine, and I'll say, look, I demand a refund. Um, hi, uh, Brownie, did I say hi, Brownie? Yeah, and, oh, Pakeni USA, I guess. Is that right? Oh, come on! Right, while we're waiting for this, let's have a look and see. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't uh, do. I didn't connect my my mouse. I'm still using the trackpad. Yeah, this is a low population here, so maybe. Maybe we should look for a, a boom system with high high population. I'm going to hang out here for one more high grade, and if it doesn't yield any uh, results, then I can I'll look for a boom system with a high population and see if we can get some joy there. Because the meat of this live stream, really for me, um, was to do the uh, the weapon upgrades, uh, providing I've got the other materials which I think I think I do yeah I mean that's right an excess trip there's nothing to fear but fear itself yeah it's it's psychological I guess some of it some of it's uh, you know it depends it depends what you're getting but um, hmm. the <laughs> AR enhanced lenses called the II. Yep, II. I had a piece of swarf dug out in my left eye with a needle a few years ago. Wow. I think that will probably be worse than a cataract operation. The other, the only other thing I had with my eye once, um, I was trying to open. Um, the moment I tell you this, you're going to know what happens. I was trying to open a tube of super glue. <laughs> I, no, I did not glue my eyes shut, by the way. <laughs> but it, I was trying to open it, um, 
I was at work at the time and I was trying to open this super glue and the lid uh, popped off and some super glue um, what's the word kind of spat into my into my eyeball or onto my eyeball uh, and so there was little blobs of uh, two or three blobs of super glue on my eyeball uh, but because the eye is jelly it kind of it's fine it can't really stay there um, the only thing it could probably do is burn but it didn't and the only problem I had was every time I blinked it hurt because it was sh kind of sharp you know so I went to the hospital went to the eye department and the guy put a light on my eye and he said yeah you've got two or three drops of super glue there so he just said put your rest your chin on this uh, chin rest kind of thing you know so I could keep my head still and he got a scalpel and I thought you have got to be kidding me and he said just look look forward and don't move your eyes and he I saw him put the scalpel close to my eye and then just move it and I said uh, I was well I didn't say anything to him but I just uh, was thinking no I actually did I said to him will this take long I said because I don't know how long I can hold my head like this and he said no it's done he'd already done it he just flicked them off with the knife I didn't even feel it I didn't even really see it it just happened brilliant so I don't really have any problems with uh, would you, with the eye department people I it's yeah because you don't get needles or anything all the anesthetics and stuff is done via drops anyway that's a lot of eye stuff <laughs> a lot of eye conversation I hadn't planned on but yeah oh encoded emissions I don't know whether to pop in there or not yeah they dug a bit ooh needle yeah I don't even want to think about that Ugh. ooh sends a shiver I tried to pimp out my Viper Mark III and upgraded the power plant distributor with the biggest ones on it to find that I can only go up to. Oh, uh, well. Uh, did you. What? Well, you could probably. Yeah, 3.5. I was just thinking about upgrading your um, FSD and then getting it engineered, but I don't know how much further that would take you. Well. Yeah, if you have if you get glue, glue drops on your eye, don't worry about it. It's such an easy fix because your eyes are the jelly. It just it, they just have to flick it off. But they do put uh, anesthetic drops on first, so you literally feel nothing. You know when you get those where people say, "Ah, oh, you don't feel anything. It's all right," and then you know it's yeah you don't feel anything except this or you don't feel anything except this bit will hurt or this bit will just just twinge a little bit but with the super glue thing and the cataract operation there literally literally is no pain at all nothing at all there's absolutely nothing at all um, and I can definitely attest to that so yeah Let's have a look. Hot syrup in your eye is the worst. I've never tried that, to be honest. I've never tried hot syrup in the eye, and I can't even imagine a situation how that would happen, but... <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Right, we've got two degraded, one encoded, and... No high thingies. I think while we'll while this is going, I'm going to look for. Uh, I think the booms are still on here. Uh, no, they're not. So let's just filter them out and hit boom. And well, we've got quite a few over there. And population 54,000. That's no good. There we go. 3.4 billion. So I'm going to plot that course, but it's not necess 
I'm not necessarily going to go there yet, but it's just going to have it plotted. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Well, I guess I'm going to be testing my current weapons. No, I'm going to I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to get out of here. It's a dropship with another ship, so I don't know. And I don't have my keys for ta next target, previous target configured yet either. Oh, I really should get that. Oh yes, I do. There we go. Okay. I don't know who the other ship is, but... Uh, oh my god, I am certainly not ready. Well, this will test my shields out, if nothing else. I'm not quite sure why I'm... Uh, scanning. But hey, if you fancy a little... Bye-bye uh, Federal gunship. Now, what about the other guy? I have lost a little bit of a shield there. Oh, he does want a piece. Well, there you go. Don't send novice diamondback scouts after me. See, the thing with the efficient lasers is that you can keep you can keep four pips to systems and two to weapons and you'll be fine, so you're protecting your shields really well. Um, and if you're in a situation where it's not really precarious, you can even just do three and three. And it works out really, really well. At least that was what was happening on the cutter um, that we had in the beta test, that we were able to put... Um, all pips into shields, which really protected them very well, and with the efficient efficient pulses, only two pips was required in weapons. Um, and yeah, we got away with it, and it was fantastic. <laughs> Ownage. <laughs> yeah, they should. Is that word in the dictionary yet? Because they're going to have to put it there. I don't know whether they're going to put it with an O or a P. Uh, um, no, Brownie, I'm not using my HOTAS, and my track IR is not. I don't have it here with me. That's back in in Gibraltar. Uh, but uh, my no, I'm just using the uh, I'm just using the joystick and keyboard right now. But I do have some buttons that I haven't mapped, and I really need to. Um, yeah, like next ship, previous ship is on. I've got it mapped to the wrong buttons that I'm normally used to. But I'll manage. I will manage. Zap, splat, boom. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Kathleen. I remember you saying just adding an extra pip to shields just makes that much of a difference. And then if you can go all four pips, then you can blast there for ages. And it doesn't matter if your weapons are just on two pips and maybe they're going to run out sooner than they would on four, but it doesn't matter because your shields are just holding um, it just means you've got taking a little bit more time and good evening William Barclay welcome to the live stream or the what did I call it rust stream rust stream yeah yeah rust stream because because of the time thing you know it's a it's a, it's a, a, a live stream that's supposed to last an hour lasts an hour but a rust stream that lasts an hour is probably going to be five or six hours. So that's a rust stream. It didn't feel right to call it a live stream, somehow. <laughs> Did efficient pulse laser mods in my courier recently. One turned into this pulsing... Yeah, it's brilliant when you get the um, experimentals on them, um, because they can be doing all this different stuff and, and it looks cool as well so I'm gonna have to be that's a that's another point as well is when I um, is that another one no is when I upgrade these lasers I'm gonna I'm gonna want these experimental weapons 
and that means dropping down in uh, reputation or whatever it is and then having to build it back up again so you I really hope I have all the materials to do that for each weapon so that remains to be seen I do have lots of materials in store uh, and I'm just hoping it's enough um, I think I'm gonna have to jump system here because um, I've only had one high grade here and I'm really just not getting any more and it's kind of getting a bit boring uh, you need to make the wrecked ray cannon yeah I haven't you know what I haven't used rail guns for so long I don't know uh, in the changes that came in 2203 um, I if I'm not mistaken I think there was some changes made to the rail guns but I don't know whether they were for the good or not is this going to remember my plotted course? It is indeed. Oh, well why aren't you on the... Uh... Okay, I'm just going to clear the route and do it again because I don't trust it anymore. Well... You've got about five seconds to come up with a USS, and then I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Hi, Morgans. Have a nice journey and a safe flight. I will try and do that. Yeah, with the auto loader, um, did they? I'm not sure if it was on that mod or on a different one, where they changed it so that you didn't. There was a mod done to uh, the multi cannons on one of the upgrades where, you, when you applied it, you used to. The downside was that it cost you ammo. Your ammo would be less. And now that's been changed so that that doesn't happen. Is that on? Is that on the auto loader? Because I, I can't remember if it was that one or not. Four, three, two, one, engage. Incendiary and corrosive shells. Yes, my favourites. Which is the one that you can't stack? It's corrosive, isn't it? You, if you, yeah. You, yeah. Oh well, you can stack them, but it's pointless. Not stacking. What would you call it? Um, well, yeah, I suppose you could st you call it stacking for the sake of uh, finding another word. But obviously, having more than one is pointless because more than one it's corrosive, right? Mo having more than one corrosive means you're only going to get the power of the one anyway. So, kind of don't waste your time. But incendiary. So you definitely need to have one corrosive at least, um, because they're brilliant. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Proto-radiolic alloys. Go on, let me pick another one of those up. It's proto... Heat radiators I require. Let me just zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom towards it. Look at the debris. 
with the in front of the light it looks really cool uh, right sorry if I'm pausing I'm kind of distracted here uh, let's get this in the cargo hold Righty, righty, righty. Oh. Right, just give me a sec. I need to have this option. Uh, hopefully I can find it quickly. Uh, flight throttle, I would say, or thrust, I think it is. It's the one where you can assign a key um, that gives you maximum thrust instantly. Um, aha, here we go. So, it's this one. So, I can't remember if I had it as Control W or Shift. I think it, actually, I think it was left Shift W and full reverse would be shift s to go with the increase and decrease yep perfect and but now i've got this uh feeling that i want to press control w so should have maybe should have said to that I believe there's a mod that increases damage at the expense of clip size, but you can add the auto loader effect. You can you can add the auto loader experimental effect, which does away with the clip. Can anyone confirm this? Uh, I don't think I can right now. I I I think I've only used the auto loader once because um, I'm used used to using um, corrosives and incendiaries on my multi cannons. Goat man, yo, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Can anyone update me on the uh, how many people are watching right now? <laughs> I just I, mine just says zero. I think I might just have to reload the reload the app on the iPad and get an update. Right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out of live chat for just a moment. Uh, right, and I'm gonna put it in again. It won't take two seconds. It's funny, isn't it? The iPad. Mine's. An, I've got the iPad 3 here, and at the time it just seemed so bloody quick, and now it's kind of uh, laggy. Let's have a look. Please be a high grade. Nah. Alright, just click on my little dog icon. And, oh, does that say 51? Really? Oh my god. 53, 51, wow. Wow. Okay, I'm a little bit flattered with that. That's cool. My highest, though, has been 98. And I can't remember what brought that on. But uh, I must have just picked the right day. But thanks, everybody, for joining and being here as we're searching for... Um, searching in vain for high-grade emissions so that we can try and pick up some... Um, Proto heat radiators, and we need those for our efficient pulse lasers that we will get from Brutarquin Grade Five, because that is the. It sounds like a downgrade, but it's not. I don't think so. It's just a. I'm going to call it a side grade, because right now my weapons, I believe. Let's have a look at them. 
where are they? Pulse lasers are overcharged grade 4, but I'm going to be swapping to efficient grade 5, which means they won't be as deadly or damaging, but I can fire them for longer and there's no heat or less heat and they kind of are damaging they still damage pretty bloody well and I was so impressed with the build we had on the cutter where we had efficient pulses all round along with a couple of um, really heavy duty multi cannons with corrosive and incendiary rounds on and then we did the shields and the way it was configured just it was a killing machine and then the beta ended <laughs> and I lost it I lost the build so I'm trying to recreate that with the cutter uh, sorry with the Corvette and uh, I've done the shields and now just waiting for the uh, for the weapons let's have a look Oh, you're welcome for the live streams, man. No problem. I en I enjoy it. In fact, to be honest, my main reason now for doing the live streams uh, over, because I haven't been doing any offline videos for a little while, at least since I I've, I think I've done one, maybe two since I since I came to the UK. But um, my main reason for doing live streams is because the enjoyment I'm getting is mainly from the chat with you guys as opposed to the game I mean I, I'm getting enjoyment from the game but uh, it, I don't know it just feels it's kinda like I don't know how to explain it. it's kinda like I'm in open play but I'm not <laughs> because you got <laughs> oh you want me to send nudes of Dick alright well I'll ask Dick and see if he'll do that and uh, he might not um, I I don't think he will, but yeah, I'll ask him. I'll ask him Juan. Um, and while I do that, um, you can go on my block list and uh, yeah, and piss off. I might have to. Uh, ooh ask if anybody wants to become a moderator and they can kill people like that off my off my chat all right come on my little crumbed vet give me a high grade oh do I have to be I, I remember the last time I was going after high grade emissions I think it was for the unknown artifacts or something like that and I had to be really out into deep space so I'm going to put that main star kind of behind me and just really try and get out deep, deep, deep. I don't know whether it makes a difference or not, but... Uh, yeah, I, it does. Yeah, I like interacting with the community, especially, you know, that... I, I learn from you guys as well when I'm asking questions. It's a great way to learn, like, in real time. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy the live streams. I know they last a while. I know somebody had a go at me for a, <laughs> for doing a three hour stream, but uh, he obviously doesn't know how long my streams really do last. Three hours for me is kind of short. Um, but no that's the way it is I mean my offline videos are usually an hour hour and a half or something sometimes two and it stands to reason that the live streams are going to be longer because I'm talking to people Craig hi Craig how are you doing thermal vent with beam lasers is nice yes it is that's a nice little thing but again you have to be uh, on target with that right I mean if you're if you don't hit your target then it heats you up 
but if you do hit your target it cools you down so but if they're gimbaled it's probably not so much of an issue if they're fixed well maybe a bit of a challenge going on there yep oh yeah the live stream when I'm doing the live stream on my um, on my other account where I'm out in the in the void it's really great to have uh, you guys here as company and uh, anything I discover you get to see in real time with me as well where's all the high high oh oh Isaac is in the building welcome back glad they released after the last 24 hour stream mayhem <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to do a live stream over the weekend, Isaac, but oh, it was such a manic weekend. Um, so I really didn't get a chance, but I did tonight. Why am I going so slow here? But yeah, welcome. Thanks for joining. Hope you got my email. That I sent you about half an hour ago and also I'll be sending you one a bit later or tomorrow um, reference what we discussed and yeah cool <laughs> doing a bit of business over the uh, over the live stream there I should have I just had a thought I should have played that music shouldn't I Isaac the um, the Zulu one I should have played that music on at the beginning of the live stream. That would have been cool. Sorry, little in joke there. Mm, let's have a look. Hey, Rusty, I came across an AI relic a couple of days ago and was instantly swarmed by many ships. And when I up, when I opened my hatch, yeah, I I think I had that happen on one of mine when I was picking up a. Or gonna, I, I think it was an alien artifact or something like that. And then suddenly all these ships came in and it's a case of either getting out of there or taking a chance and just grabbing what you need to grab and then get the hell out. Oh, how many of these degraded... This is degrading, this is, that's what this is. It's degrading. Right, the way I did it last time, if I remember right, is I pick the star and then I put it, the main star, and then I put it behind me. Directly behind me. Let's see if this works. Right, so now I know I'm traveling outwards into deep space. Nine. Uh, no, just into deep space. And uh, my experience, there you go. My experience is that the high grades come in further out into 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 space whether that will happen here or not I don't know men of Harlech that was it <laughs> oh, God I didn't even know what that was I had no clue I mean <laughs> but yeah I did I did go to YouTube and type in men of Harlech knowing it would be there um, yeah that would have been a bit weird. But yeah. That's to do with my uh, my trip to Wales. And something with the Zulus. Is it the Zulu movie or something? I don't know. The Rocks, Is it Rock's Drift? That we're talking about here? My, uh, my history isn't really the best. There we go. Brownie knows what we're talking about. What is the state of that system? It is boom. Yeah, this is a boom system that we're in with 3.4 billion uh, refugees that Donald Trump wouldn't let in. So they've all come here. I shouldn't have mentioned that, but anyway. Yeah, there's... Uh, I believe it's very highly populated. And as you can see here, it is boom with 3.4 billion uh, people 
might be an idea as well to get the furthest away place and just keep going further and further out. Let me just plot a course to this because at least I know that is out, outward. So I'm going to go and plot a course to that. And it will take me a while to get there because I'm not even in the blue zone. I love that kind of mist on the left window there, the, the left side of the screen. It's a really, you can just see it fading away now, it's a really cool effect. There we go, there's another unidentified signal, and of course it's directly behind me. Of course it is. Naturally. Do you remember um, Kate, was it you, Kathina, that you asked me about doing the, the pitch? Um, timing the, the, the full 360 degree pitch on this thing? I'm not, I'm going to head towards the nebula, that'll give me a reference point. Um, probably should have tested it with boost as well, yes, because the boost will, will certainly, um, speed all that up. But anyway, yeah, Zulu, yeah. Battle of Rock's Drift. Yep. No wall. <laughs> no. No wall. Unless unless there's one on a planet I've not spotted yet. Has your channel got ship builds on it? Uh yeah, I yeah it does. It I do have ship builds. I've got one for my um my racing ship. Um I think I've got one where yeah, in the beta when we built the cutter, that's 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 a long live stream, but it's really worth watching because well, I learnt a lot of stuff on that live stream, and yeah, we built a cutter that was fantastic. And then I think I did it on another ship as well. Might have been the Vulture, but I can't remember. This is really starting to annoy me now. <sighs> I actually, I actually believed I was going to be picking up proto heat radiators a lot sooner than this. Ah, oh, encoded, degraded. But we need the. This just goes to show how difficult it is to get this. Anyway. I guess we just have to keep going, and I've got to keep talking while this happens. I prefer to melt shields with huge incendiaries and then melt hull with huge incendiaries and a large corrosive, leave the smaller slots for taking up the smaller ships. Yeah, that makes sense. I think right now I've got uh, just the two, is it two or three? I've got three multi-cannons. Uh, one, two, and three. I'm not sure this one. Ah, uh, now then. These are two, the two huge. And then I've got one there for some reason, seems to be out on its own, which isn't even upgraded. It hasn't even been engineered. So, there's plenty to do. And then it'll just be a case of putting this thing into a conflict zone or a high intensity um, res and seeing what the hell happens. See how good it is. Talk about what's up with real Rusty the dog. <laughs> okay. Uh, I had a good day with him today. Um, he normally hangs around my sister because, you know, she's, she's his new owner and he sticks to her like glue, but today he was outside with me, and uh, I've got some pictures of him 
he jumped up on her because we've got horses around the back and there are some stables around the back with horses and where they do the feed for the horses is um, a load of hay and he just runs in there and when you're running after him he's already lying on top of the hay kind of made his <laughs> made his bed on top of the on, well on top of the straw yeah it's straw isn't it so uh, no it's hay it's oh well whatever it is it's strawy hay stuff and uh, he's brilliant he's brilliant but there's there's three other dogs here as well with him and he was having a play with one of them uh, Riley the uh, sheep dog the fat sheep dog Riley the big fat sheep dog and uh, they were having a play chasing after each other but I'll tell you what out of the four dogs Rusty by far is the fastest runner I've he is so fast he is really really fast r running Riley had n no chance running away from Rusty no way <laughs> uh, I like watching them that's they're, uh, they're great dogs uh, and Rusty's the most disobedient like he doesn't like if you say sit or give me your paw or anything like that he hasn't got a clue what you're talking about the other dogs do they all they just do it straight away as soon as you say it but Rusty's like whatever not interested oh my god look a high-grade emission somebody take a screenshot Jesus well I, I mean only I can take a screenshot I guess right in we go so yeah Rusty's doing well and uh, he's currently asleep which means he'll be lying on his side is he a commander too he's no he's probably an admiral <laughs> he's a yeah he's the original so he can't I, I can't be ranked above him We've got, we name him the the ginger ninja I think probably because of his speed right please give me proto radiators oh how repetitive and boring is this god the same again alloys and radiolic alloys it's a bit too coincidental for my liking it's too repetitive what happened to the good old random number generator there it must have broke RNG fail gonna spend probably yeah this gonna um, entitle the live stream looking for proto radiators and then finding out at the end that we didn't get any <sighs> wow let's have a look question not really rusty I saw a video where you use voice attack to target power plant uh, I get asked that a lot actually um, <laughs> rusty is too clever by far yeah the dog is yeah <laughs> yeah the power plant it's very easy to do um, if you just think about how you would do it in the game and you can't targeting the power plant you cannot do it for every ship it's not going to work for every ship um, but it's basically a case of targeting the ship um, which presumably you've already done before you issue the command target power plant um, and then all you do is whatever key you've assigned to your previous subsystem that's the one I use I mean you I assume you have keys for previous and next subsystem whatever key you've assigned for the previous subsystem you tell it to um, press that key six times at least that's I think six is what I use six or seven try it out just experiment and just tell voice attack to press that key six times and with certain ships like anacondas and whatnot you find probably pythons as well you'll find that it could probably hit the power plant every single time on the ones it doesn't 
you'll only be maybe one or two subsystems away from it. So you can either press your next and previous subsystem keys, or you can tell voice attack, program in a, um, a command where it'll go forward one to the next subsystem, or back one to the previous, which is what I do. So I, I would say target the ship, so I would say uh, target, or I would manually target the ship, and then I would say target power plant, and voice attack would do do uh, issue the previous subsystem command six times, and then if it hasn't hit the power plant, I would then say uh, back one or forward one, depending on where I think it might be. Ah, my God! Is it the only one here? Oh yes, nine of them. Yeah, there is nine because you pick up three with every with every pickup. Oh god. Is nine enough though? It is, isn't it? I mean it well nine is enough to do all the lasers, but it's it mm, it depends now how many rolls of the dice I want. Do I wait and do another find another one and get pick up another nine? Oh my god, I've struck gold here. They do exist. I'm just being very careful now. I do not want to blow these up. Oh, come on. Proto-heat radiators. Proto for prototype, possibly? I don't know. There we go, new material. I can't believe that. In my whole rusty dog life, which is... Yeah, whatever. I've never picked up proto heat radiators ever before in the game. Wow. Very rare. Oh, yeah, there you go. Very rare manufactured, it says there. Oop, 38 meters. I need to back off. It's going to hit the nose. Back off about 150, 200 meters. Now we can pop up. And now we can pick it up. Don't go into the red. Did I... I did pick all of them up, right? That second one I'm not sure about, but I think I got it. Yeah. Yeah, they're very rare, which is why it's just taken as a... Uh, it's just taken as a while. So, the question now, I'm, I'm going to leave this to you guys. Are you prepared to hang on while I try and find another load? Or do we get going and go to Brune right now and just take what we get given? Obviously that will have an impact on, on how well I can tweak these lasers. How many lasers have I got? Uh, good question. I think... Oh, actually, the quicker way. Actually, no, I can't do that. So, right, pulse lasers, where are you? So there's two there, two there, and that could be it. Four of them. Yep, four. What do you think of the Imperial Cutter for battles? Pfft. Okay, um, it's if they're anything like the one that I did in the, that I got in the beta, um, they're pretty damn good, to be honest. However, if you want a battleship, you get the Corvette. But if you're not ranked to get the Corvette. Yeah, the cutter's good. If you build it like I'm building it, like we're building it here with the with the way we've got the shields and the way we've got the weapons, uh, and you can look at that in my last live stream. I know it's five... Is it five hours? Five and a half hours my last live stream, or was it... Th yeah. I think it was a big one. Um, but basically, you need... Uh, to summarize, you want biweave shields, 
which have got the uh, thermal resistance, grade 5 on there and then you want to start putting shield boosters on um, and you want to get... Kathina, would you say to split like if you have six um, shield boosters or four shield boosters to split them equally between augmented and um, heavy duty or would you probably say it would be worth getting a little bit more heavy one more heavy duty or well let's put it, let's bring me put it another way if you had five shield boosters and you had two that was heavy duty and two that was augmented what would you do with the fifth one which way would you go would you augment or would you um or would you add the uh, heavy duty instead go for more I'm going for more I'm gonna hang around for a little while see if I can pick up some more if if it's starting to get a bit too much of a you know too much time then I will uh, will head to brew Tarquin Yeah, the cutters. I mean, I think the, the the Corvette is designed as a battleship, so it's a battleship. Yeah, it is. It's a fighter. So if you're into combat, I would go for this. If you're ranked enough, um, otherwise the cutter is can be made to be a shield tank really a really good one as well a really really good shield tank um, correct me or not on this but you can see that my biweaves here are seven C's um, or C7's depending on how you prefer it am I not correct in thinking that on the cutter they go up to class 8 or am I just imagining that because if the cutter goes to class 8 you can imagine how much shield tanking you can do with that <laughs> well I already know but uh, yeah encoded emissions can have them as well oh, okay and then I've got somebody saying encoded only has portal light alloys yeah there you go Cutter can fit class eight, so there you go. So the shields on the on the on the cutter will be even better. No, I think I don't know. I think they are eight. You know, I think they are eight on the cutter. Yeah, I think I think the shields on the cutter are class eights. I think so. I know you can get class eight shields, and if it's not on this vet, it's the cut is the only logical other one and by god that's going to be an expensive upgrade <laughs> if if i'm if i'm right that it is class 8 um how much are class 8a prismatics oh god they're just going to be so expensive Oh, Beluga. Yeah, Beluga as well. Oh, the highest biweaves are sevens. Okay. That would, yeah, that could make sense. That could mean I've got 7C biweaves in an 8 slot. And I'm going to have to have a look on Coriolis because uh, I'm, I'm a, yeah, I've been so uh, away from Elite that I've kind of lost um, all those little details that were in my head. Go on, we'll drop in here. Why not? We'll drop in, take a chance. I mean, it's a long shot, but 
if another if another USS pops up before we get there, we'll go in. We'll check that out instead. Eight C byweaves. There you go. They exist. Eight C prismatics must be extremely um, pricey. Oh God! What? Two hundred and forty-four million? <sighs> wow. That is some serious cash. But that is also some serious protection. Mm, don't need any of those. No. Yeah, that's some serious protection though. Especially if you augment them and all that stuff. Okay, I should definitely have done Control W instead of Shift. Right, Camo TM Evo. Good night, man. Uh, stay well, and uh, I'll catch you on the next stream, I hope. Yeah, I, it, serious power for sure. I mean, the, uh, the Cutter and the Corvette, they really um, are the extreme of the game right now, aren't they? They're both... Uh, whoops, come on slow down. They're both right at the top end of the game in terms of size and power and stuff. I'd be interested to, to see a full-on battle cutter versus corvette and all that stuff and mm. like you have a, f uh, a fighter in the shape of the Corvette with the seven C biweaves, but then you can have a cutter which is maybe not so geared for combat, but it can have eight C shields and have them against each other with it with two pilots of similar skills. Remember when bi-weaves disappeared, everyone freaked out, did they? Oh, yes! Yes, they took bi-weaves away, didn't they, for a little while? Yes, I remember that. And then I remember thinking at the time, well, eh, I don't care, I don't use them. And now I do, at least on the, on, on the big ships. I'm not sure whether... I'm guessing uh, the system that I'm using here with building up the shields would work on the smaller ships um, to a point, depending how many shield boosters you can get on there, but I guess it would work on things like vultures and cobras and stuff like that, and of course pythons and whatever. The principle is the same, so why not? I noticed when I got attacked by that um, uh, federal dropship that my outer ring on the shields did actually dim a little bit, even though I wasn't ready for him. Um, but I think all in all we're going to be okay. I mean, I, I remember in the cutter, in the beta, I came face to face with and I literally mean face to face, nose to nose, with an elite anaconda NPC. And we were just firing at each other nose to nose. And by the time I'd killed him, I hadn't even lost a shield ring. Or, or I'd only lost the one shield ring. That was as far as it got. So right there I knew that it's going to take some serious firepower to get my shields down. And then of course because they're bi-weaves 
um, they they recharge pretty quickly. 63 watching the stream. Oh my god. Yee. Uh, looks like looks like Tuesday is a good day. I'm try I'll try not to keep it to, to too late though. But yeah, thanks everybody for 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 being here. Oh wow! Look at that, Craig. Prismatic eight A's weigh three hundred and twenty tons. Wow, that's some serious uh, weight and some serious money. You're basically paying what a, a, a million, just under a million per. No, just oh, God, come on, brain, work it out. Yeah, just under a million. Per ton. Yes? Something like that. Oh god, you just reminded me. Yes, Tom, when you said EDDB says that Sol has force, you've just reminded me. Ah, oh, I forgot. Okay, I'll do it on the next live stream. Uh, I wanted to set up the new EDDI. Uh, on my laptop for this live stream, so it, we could have it running. Ah, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I'll, I will download it tonight, and I will install it tomorrow, so that on the next live stream it is ready. And in fact, what I'm interested in doing is uh, maybe a separate offline video, um, just going through the installation of the new EDDI from scratch, the whole procedure and the features, running through the features, and yeah, basically this me discovering it and and doing that in real time. It's kind of you know I'm learning as I'm going, as opposed to the proper way, which would be to read up about it and learn it all and then do the video. I like to just jump straight in and do it because that's kind of how everybody else would do it when it comes to their turn. So, yeah, kind of doing an, an unboxing, if you like, of, of EDDI, getting it installed, getting it set up, getting it configured, and uh, because it doesn't need voice attack anymore, which means um, you can probably have voice attack running as well with your chosen um, voice pack or whatever and then um, you can have so much talk going on uh, you're gonna have voices overlapping I'm sure distress call mm. well I'm not bothered about those threat 2 mind you I tell you what though I say I'm not bothered I'm going to go in because just to break up the monotony of looking for these bloody proto things. If we, if I can help somebody out here, then I will. A rusty voice pack? Seriously? Really? I don't think anybody wants a rusty voice pack. <laughs> I honestly can't see it. You can have the one that I'm doing, the serious one, but my voice on a voice pack? Holy bloody hell. Okay, he's clean. Well, uh, problem? Yes, he's dead still. Are you out of fuel? I'm, my guess is that this guy is out of fuel because he's not moving, but nobody's attacking him. But I don't have any limpets or whatever, so I can't really help you, my friend. Sorry, you should have brought enough fuel with you. Out of fuel, yeah. And every time I carry the... F 
bloody few limpets. And then I look for distress um, distress signals. They're never out of fuel. It's always attack. They're being they're being attacked. Insect Orchid 2. Love your stream, Rusty. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, call the fuel rats. They should they're gonna have to build that into the game where the NPCs can actually call a fuel rat. <laughs> they'll get they'll get so many thousands of or maybe a, an NPC version of the fuel rats where the uh, where NPCs can go and refill you or something. But I, on the other hand, having said that, they probably shouldn't because they'll do the fuel rats out of a job and yeah, if you had NPCs that you could call to to come and give you some fuel. No, I think it's great what the fuel rats are doing. And what a brilliant idea as well. Oh, it's steep. Driving home and saw you were on. I am on indeed. Yes, I am. And, yep, steep. Um... I'm going to give you a shout out because you gave me a shout out on the last one. So yeah, guys, Steep, another elite dangerous YouTuber. So check him out and do the usual like, subscribes and stuff on him. He's uh, yep, I am I'm a subscriber to Steep, and I tend to drop in on his live streams when I catch them. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty cool. Nice to see you here, man. Are you still driving? Because don't, don't you bloody have an accident listening to me. <laughs> oh, another distress call. Threat three. Come on. But there's, 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 at least there's a threat level here. This is not part of the plan, but as there's no high-grade thingies coming up, We had any? Nope, nothing's coming up. If no other USS pops up before I am uh, ready to jump into this, then we're going to be jumping in and see if we can help. See, this is the thing I like doing as well picking up distress calls. And if any little ship's being bullied by a couple of big ships, then if you have a ship like this, you can probably help the guy out. What would be nice if you get a little reward or he drops some cargo for you. Whoa, hello. Now then. Now then. Yep, I figured there'd be somebody jumping in. I'll, and, oh wow. Okie dokie. We've got a few ships here. I could be in trouble. Okay. If you're wanted, you're going down, buddy. You're clean. Okay, fine. So where's the threat? Is it these guys? Oops, how did that happen? I deselected the target for some strange reason. These little ships are harder to hit, so they take a little bit longer. And an Imperial Eagle. See, I'm, my, my, I'm kind of losing my first shield ring a, a little bit. If I was you, I'd leave. Bye bye. Target destroyed. In 
incoming hostile detected, eh? Oh, I know, I need to, yeah, balance my shields out like that. Here we go. Right, another wing of three then. Come on, bring yourself here. you want to face me? Destroyed. Well, at least we'll be testing the bloody shields out. Looks like he had a, some kind of... Oh no, is that task my shields? Okay. A couple of turrets would be nice right now. can't be bothered. Who's this guy that everybody's after? I can't be bothered doing any more. How many's winged this time? Three. Firing my multi cannons for no reason. But at least he's not chaffing, which is a good thing. But my shields are now less than healthy. God. Big ships are so much quicker to take down. Lasers are uh, taking a while because of the jitter, and these cannons are so bloody big. If any more jump in, I'm just leaving, because I just can't be bothered. Full reverse rust. Wow, that one went down a bit quick. Yeah, come on, bring it on. I thought I was going to get him. And we're done. Any more enemies, you're going to have to take them out yourself. 
Oh, the Federal Navy owes you a debt of gratitude. Yes, I know that. Well, hopefully you're safe now. Right, how much li how much chat have I missed? Right, Commander Phantomus, cool name. Uh, yeah, evening. Poontang, this is Rusty's house. <laughs> yeah, you need, um, well, you don't need, but it's nice to have turrets on a ship that's a slow turner, I think, because it allows you to at least have a couple of weapons constantly on the enemy while you're uh, trying to uh, re re engage and relock. So I'm going to spend maybe another five, ten minutes looking for more protos, proto radiators. And if nothing turns up, then it's off to brew for some weaponizing. Okay, steep. Fly, uh, yeah, drive safe. I, was, I nearly said fly safe there, but yeah, drive safe. And uh, if you come back later on. I'll see you there. I should probably mute my mic now because I'm going to have some water. And I, don't, I know you guys don't want to hear this, so give me a second. Right, we're back. Let's check out this uh, soon to be identified signal source. Fail. Right, let's pick a nebula. Can we pick that one? This one. Just pick a spot and keep, keep heading out in the same direction. That's what I did before, and I got one eventually. Four turreted beams, yeah, well, the phew, four turreted beams is going to work pretty well, yeah. Hey, Nabil, all is well? Yes, all is pretty good. And I did notice further back on the chat that there was another, the not another, the other Rusty Dog. I don't know if he's still on, but, um, yep. Yeah. Oh, now my live chat is now finally updated with the amount of people watching, but it keeps changing every time. Uh, dramatically changing every few seconds. Uh, right, this one's behind me. Pity there's no way to uh, identify it without facing. I mean, technology in, in this year, 3303, you'd think they'd be able to tell you what kind of emissions it is without having to point at it. But we don't seem to have that technology. And there is the nebula. I'm just going to keep heading towards. Hi, hello Whitney. How is your defense on your cutter, Robert? Oh, I'm really jumping into uh, what's his name's voice, Cornelius. <laughs> Good old Cornelius. Why isn't he doing videos anymore? Come on, come on, Cornelius, get your videos done. I'm missing the voice. Now we have Imperial Cutter with 400 megajoules of power. He hasn't done a video for months, and 
Yeah, I don't know what, why he dropped off the radar, uh, whether he just got sick of it, or if he st actually still plays and just doesn't do the videos. But, um, yeah, I, I miss Cornelius, he's cool. Yeah, I've got a pretty good 60 people watching, my god. There must be nothing on telly tonight. <laughs> Oh, come on, right. Too much. We spent too much time here. I'm going to wait for one more unidentified thing, and it's it's going to have to be a high grade, otherwise it's down to brute. And there it is. I knew you were going to be degraded, you s I knew it. I was going to say if it's degraded I'll wait for another one, but uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll keep on the move and we'll get into the map. <laughs> yeah, that was an excellent impression. I do seem to just, I don't know, just get his voice somehow. I like all the, but the thing is, there's been so many details changed in 2203 um, with holes and shields, and he was the, he was the go-to guy for finding out how um, things compared to other things. You know, he was he was the guy that did all the tests and showed you all the numbers, and yeah, it was. I always liked the info that, that he gave out. Um, so, it, yeah, it's a shame he doesn't do any more. And same with Commander Izinona, that uh, he was the best, he's the best bloody pilot I've ever seen. How did... Um, was it uh, Commander um, Cornelius? Was it, uh, no, was it Cornelius Breedis that? Um, greetings, command. That's it. That, that's how he did it. Yeah, greetings. That's right. I couldn't remember how he started the video, but yeah, that's that's what it was. Greetings. Today we're going to talk about Carter and Corvette weapons. <laughs> Sometimes I find myself, you know, people who have watched their videos, trying to go back into their archives and see if I can see stuff, that I, videos that I haven't seen before, but maybe is, is kind of still relevant today, you know. Did you unlock Palin yet? Yeah, yeah, Palin, I unlocked Palin quite a while ago. Um, yeah, I, I've got... I, well, I'm, I haven't got all of the engineers unlocked, I don't think. Not the new ones. I got uh, these three I still have to get to, especially Ram Tar I want to get to. I haven't even got bloody Ram Tar yet. Uh, but yeah, Palin is done and dusted. All up, all up to grade 5. Hoping you run into some aliens. I. Uh, I tried. Just got in from work, Phantom at school. Who? There used to be. There was a guy. I can't remember his name. On my live chat, and he watched me from an oil rig. Can't remember which guy. Which guy that was? Yeah. And it's kind of surreal knowing that somebody's in the in the North Sea somewhere or something on an oil rig, watching my live stream. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, if you you just expect that everyone's sat at home, but people aren't. They're at work. They're not. <laughs> they're not doing any work, or they're doing it in conjunction with watching me. I don't know. Oh God, I'm just about to zoom out, and another. Oh come on, and another signal source comes in, which I'm going to lose if I don't hurry up. Right, last chance saloon. Here we go. Uh, 
Oh, God. Boring. Right, on to brew then. Let's get some weapons modded. I need a change of scenery. Yeah, unlocking all of the engineers is a tedious thing. It takes a while. And I think that's as designed, obviously. I think they designed it that way, so... <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted by uh, by Goatman's message. What? I have seen everything Pornhub has to offer, so... Oh, I see! <laughs> I see what you mean when I said about yeah okay nothing on the telly <laughs> uh, um god I've lost my place now oh yeah unlocking the engineers yeah it is it is a tedious thing but Like I say, I think it's intended to, you know, just to stretch out the longevity of the game and whatnot, so... Because the idea isn't to race around and then in, what, in a week you've got all the engineers unlocked. I don't think that's the intention. They, they want it to take a while. So at least you've got something to do for a while. So who is this then? Axel Lloyd. Hi Axel Lloyd, welcome to the chat and the stream. Cursed fishy. Wow. It'd be nice to get the, the stories behind some of these, um, how people came up with their, with their um, commander names. Or their nicknames on YouTube and stuff. Like, where did Cursed Fishy come from? There's got to be a story behind that one somewhere. <laughs> Frame shift drive charging. Oh, okay. It was a character in GW1, whatever that is, from my girlfriend. GW1. Sorry, I don't know what that is. I probably should, but I don't. I think the older you get, the worse you become with initials. Oh, Guild Wars. Okay. Right. Yeah. I, I try and think now what my elite commander name would be had I not rescued that dog. Um, I wonder what I would have come up with. I really don't know. No idea. How many jumps have I got to go? What? Oh. Oh. 13 jumps to get back to brew. How did I get all the way out here then? For shields, isn't it? It was for shields. Mine was my Xbox name. Yeah. Camo. Camo TM. Like, is that TM as in like trademark or something or part of a, a group? Yeah, Oliver Hardy. It probably, you know what? You're probably right, Andy. I think it probably would have been that. It would have been Commander Oliver Hardy, I think, because you know, Lauren Hardy, my my comedy heroes. I yeah. So I probably would have been something along those lines. Ah, oh, good. Okay, trademark. Cool. You know, I'm this. This is not geeky or anything. It's just a coincidence. But I actually happen to be wearing my Elite Dangerous Cobra T-shirt at the moment. I have that on. 
I but I've been wearing it uh, since this morning, so I haven't just put it on for the <laughs> for the live stream. That would be weird, unless I was actually uh, uh, had a what do you call it a webcam going. Um, yeah, other than that, that would be quite bizarre. But I am wearing I am wearing um, official. Uh, what do you call it? Clothes from the uh, from the available from Frontier. Number one sport. Good evening, sir. I once took an arrow to the knee. Ooh. Okay. How did that happen, Boran? How do you take arrows to knees? I, I think I've got enough fuel to get to where I'm going, so... It's only 13 jumps, this thing will do 20 plus, easy. Should be working now, but I really can't be asked. <laughs> oh, naughty naughty. I only played Skyrim for about half an hour. You know, I don't know why. I got it, I got it, I installed it, I played it. It looked good, and then I, I put it down because I had to do something else, and I never I never went back into it again. Not really sure why. I think I was just distracted with other games, like this one. Stick your signal sources. Four, three, two, one, boom. Hopefully, there are some boom systems uh, close to um, Mr. Brew. I think Elite Dangerous for me now is easily the game I've put the most hours into. Um, previous to that, not counting, I'm not going to count my my sim racing, uh, sim, uh, the driving simulations because, or the, yeah, the sim racing sims because uh, I have no idea how many hours I've put into those, but it's, it's a lot. But not counting those, I would have to say. The game I spent a lot of time on was Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, and obviously 5 when that came out. Um, and I also like um, Far Cry 3 and 4 because, well, A, they're moddable, and B, you can keep resetting the outposts and just go and invading them, so. I enjoy doing that. And with the map editor that came in, in uh, Far Cry 4, you can download all the uh, player maps that have been modded, or created, sorry, uh, online. And it's fantastic. But I don't have Far Cry on my laptop. And I wouldn't, I'm running out of space as well. I've, I had to go out and buy a one terabyte external drive last week because I was running so tight on space. It didn't help installing um, diagnostic software for the uh, BMW cars. That was 30 gig for the diagnostic software. Crazy. And it wouldn't give me any choice where to install it. I, I it insisted on installing it on the C drive. Uh, so I had to hack into that with a hex editor in order to make it point to my external drive. 
Wow. So yeah, so I have I have a little external drive now which is helping out a lot. And thanks to Steam, Steam allows you to put your game wherever you want to put it. So I freed up a load of space this week. Last week, last week. Let me uh, pick up some fuel because it's cheaper on the M-class planets, stars, M-class. <laughs> yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah, Far Cry. I do like Far Cry. Armor 2 Operation. Yeah, I know Armor 2 isn't for me. Uh, I played Armor 3. It's not for me as a game, but I do really appreciate how accurate and cool of a simulation that is. I know how good it is. It, I just don't play it. Um, basically because I would probably just get killed really easily. Because it's too, it's too authentic for me. <laughs> I'm not a Call of Duty person either. I, in the old Call of Duties and the old Medal of Honors, were good, and both, both of them are ruins. I, I, in my opinion now, I, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's just ruined for me. It's too mass market. The same as. Uh, if you watch um, Worth a Buy with Mac, I can do him as well. If anybody, if any of you know Worth a Buy, I, I have done his his intro before. But yeah, I like Mac. I, I watch a lot of, I watch pretty much all of Mac's videos, and he goes on about how all the games have got X-ray vision and one button crouching and all this stuff, simplifying it down, dumbing the games down, and it's kind of true. It, he's right. It's dumbed down a lot. I used to really like the old World War Two, which was the was it Medal of Honor? Um, let me think. I think it was Medal of Honor, one of the older ones, where they did the entire Normandy beach landings, which that was an incredible level. When I think it was about the third or the fourth level into the game. And it was Normandy, and it was the entire beach landing, and it was just incredible. Just they really reenacted that amazingly well. And I, I'm just not. It just doesn't do it for me anymore. Mac, Max, brilliant with that bell. He he times the bells instantly. I don't know what it is with him. He he says something, and then he'll ding the bell, and he'll always time it right. Yeah. One, Elite Dangerous Horizons. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words, the words of the developer. Yes, guys, it's Elite Dangerous. Yeah, that's my that's my worth a buy Mac <laughs> impersonation. Pretty much because I'm we're both from the same area of, of England, so Getting his voice isn't difficult. I should, I should. <laughs> oh, the the fact that he's got a bell is genius. <laughs> it's just a genius um, thing to have. He's the only, he's the only YouTuber I know that has a bell. And he, he times it perfectly. He's, he's really funny. He cracks me up. So yeah. And he does really good game reviews, honest game reviews. He'll, he'll, he did want to review the other day of a game and he said, yes, this, the, the, developer, the developer sent me this game for free, so thanks for that. Um, and then he completely slated the game. You know, he just absolutely slated the game. But he doesn't care. He just gives his honest opinion, and he, he's not one of these that bows to, you know, people getting a free game. So please give me a good write-up. He doesn't do that, and that's why I listen to him and his game reviews. And he stopped me from buying um, Mafia th Mafia Three. I was looking forward to Mafia so long because Mafia Two was brilliant, and. Mafia 3 was coming along 
and I so wanted it. And then he did his review, and it was it was like the worst game ever made, and it just completely put me off. No, not it wasn't. No, not Biohazard. It was a more recent one, I think. Um, I don't remember what game it was. Yeah. Who's just joined us here? Oh, Katui Lucian? That's my best shot, sorry. <laughs> das Germans like the farming. Yeah, the farming, farming simulator. Euro I have the Euro Truck simulator on my Steam account. Hey, Roger Taylor, how you doing? Worth a buy is how I learned about Elite. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, he yeah he compared No Man's Sky. Yeah. That's right. No Man's Sky is a laptop you buy at Toys R Us, and Elite is an adult laptop. I remember him saying that. Yeah, it's 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 right. It's exactly right. I said something similar. It wasn't like that, but I remember saying something like. Um, I can't remember what I said now, but it was very similar. That No Man's Sky was like a a kiddies version of a space simulator. That's no offence to people who like No Man's Sky, and I do like that that the um, the changes they made have improved the game there. Farming simulators meant to be really good, isn't it? I mean, it can't be the most exciting thing in the world. Do, oh, does anybody watch those videos on YouTube where you see people raging out on their when they're playing their games? It's it's there's no other word for it. It's mental. You know, they lose a life in the game, like playing multiplayer or something and somebody shoots at them and they die and they just lose it. Keyboards getting thrown at the TVs and controllers getting smashed and people just go, I mean, I think, do, do they ever look back on at that video of themselves and think to themselves, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like to watch some of those videos and just see how crazy some people get. Screaming at the at the monitor or the TV, just screaming at it like it can hear them. Wow. Not that I ever lose my rag, of course. That never happens. And now we've arrived at Muang. This is your captain speaking. We are now arriving at Moang. Please fasten your seatbelts. Oh, Twitch stream fails. I've only just started watching those. Yes, I watched a couple of those the other day. Literally the other day. Uh, yeah, I stumbled across them after watching the... Uh, the, the, the rants and the raves and the twitch fails came up and oh my god I love it Astronia looks promising yeah I, I I have Astronia I got started on it and then I left the country <laughs> but it is on my steam account but the other one I'm I'm liking, uh, is it Astronia? Okay, I th it, the one I'm thinking of right now might be Osiris New Dawn, but the game starts when you start a new game, you're in an escape capsule that crashes onto a planet, and you can do things. I'm not even sure if it's Osiris New Dawn, you know. You can dig into because they're all they all sound the bloody same. It's not Osiris New Dawn, it's something else. 
I think. You, you can dig into the side of a mountain and there's like a lake or water on, on planets and you can put a, a, a water purifier or an air purifier next to it and then at night time you have to retire into your mountain cave or whatever you... Mm. I don't know if that is... Um... Oh, I don't know if that's that game or not. It's not Astroneer because Astroneer has got really garish uh, graphics. This one hasn't. This one looks really good. It is Osiris, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, that one then. I did start that game and I, I built my base in a, in a cave. And then you have to lay panels down on the walls and stuff. Yeah, I started going on that one. Yeah. I I kind of think that's going to be a pretty good game actually. So that would be my second go to sp uh, space kind of game. Because we're nowhere near uh, Star Citizen yet. Well, landing on a planet, eh? This hasn't happened for a while since my last live stream which is a while I've not heard of Solus project but now that two guys have mentioned it I will be checking that out Chaos Wolf was playing something that sounds very similar yeah Hi, there's a lot of them now um, that you know it's kind of survivally uh, crafting kind of thing. It seems to be the trend at the moment. Which is okay. You just gotta pick the one you want actually because you know there's like 20 games out there. I did I did have a, a video planned a while back um, and I downloaded screenshots and stuff of all of the space games uh, that not necessarily rivals to Elite but ones that are you know like Astroneer, Osiris um, and I had about 20 lined up and I was going to try and uh, not compare them because I didn't I didn't buy them or have them all am I landing the wrong way? Nope um, but I was certainly going to take a look at all of the different games out there and checking out the reviews and you know seeing which is the ones worth playing and it was a video that I never got around to actually doing but it was definitely on my to-do list and now my uh, list of games that are on there are probably out of date down with the joystick so it must be the key all right then the Solas project on steam 1499 landing operation complete commence system shutdown Welcome seven days to, to die I've heard of that and I've even think that I've seen the worth a buy review on it Okay, let's see if we can do this, shall we? So, Kathina, I hope you're still here because this is the part I need you here for. Because we, I know we're going for efficient grade 5s over the grade 4s, but I'm going to have to select a specialist, uh, what do you call it, experimental on every weapon and I think I think I know which ones I want anyway but just in case it's good to know you're there okay so here we go grade 5 efficients proto heat radiators right I've got nine oh well even if I'd found more proto heat radiators I it wouldn't have made any difference because 
how do I get rid of this? Go away! Because the amount of cadmium is the, exactly the same, so... Okay, so... We could, we've got one for free here because... Uh, well, not for free, but what we're going to have one here where we're not going to lose... We haven't lost rank to get here, if you know what I mean. Because every weapon I do now, I'm going to lose rank and have to work my way back up. But I'm sure we can do it. So let's see. Rusty, what's that robotic voice I just heard? That was the traffic control of Brews. Uh, yeah, when you come into land at Brews, what's his Brews headquarters? Um, that's the voice. Oh, Kathina's already answered that one. They're not worth using the favours on, really? Nothing? Okay. Well, if I happen to get one, though, really nothing's worth at all? Well, I, okay, so go back, go back, go back. And back again, one, just, just one second. Okay, so I have four pulse, pulses and I've got nine cadmiums and nine protos. So basically I've got two rolls of the dice on each one, on average, with one left over. But if I get a good roll immediately, then I'll, I won't do a re-roll and I'll save it for if I get some crap ones later on. I think that's how I'll do that. How is Sirius? Uh, I haven't really touched on it, to be honest. I, I need to do a little bit more on that. So I'm sorry that it's being delayed, but uh, I didn't expect that I would be in the UK either. Could you please check out the autoloader option for auto cannons? I can't hear because... Oh, maybe I can. Can I? No, I can't because there's no multi-cannons here. This is just bursts, pulses and beams. So it won't let. Yeah, I'm not at the at the right engineer for that. Okay then, let's go and take these overcharged grade fours off, which we're doing pretty well, and we're going to go to efficient. So the damage per second is going to come right down, and the damage is going to come down, but less power draw, less heat, less distributor draw, so we can fire for longer which means we don't need as many pips, which means we can transfer the pips we don't need into shields and keep them running. Into shields. I hope he doesn't get offended by me doing his voice. <laughs> it's all complimentary. Or uh, as, as a compliment. Right, so, let's go. Let's... Uh, 10% chance of an experimental effect. Yeah, I know, I know. Come on, give me a good roll here. Okay. So, I think probably what I can do... Actually, the damage is pretty good. Oh, I got good damage on that. It didn't go into the reds, look. So, my damage is... Really? My damage is higher. <laughs> is this right? My da Oh yeah, well, I, I am grade 5, upgrading from grade 4, but my damage has actually gone up a little bit. My distributor draw is worse, which is weird. That means I must have got a good one last time. My armor piercing is down a bit, and my jitter has improved by a grand total of zero. So do that one. I'm just going to do one roll, one weapon. And then we can maybe have a look at which one's the worst one and see if we can get another roll on that, I reckon. I have rapid fire on my vet. I can shoot for days. <laughs> Eyes down for a full house. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Right then. 
pulse laser, grade 5 efficient. I always double check up here now because I have a tendency to mess up. Okay. So, blah, 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 blah. What have we got here? We're 18% down there. The blues came out brilliant. Okay. I like this one, this second one. Armor piercing's up 4%. Jitter. No, oh, not 0.3. Yeah, okay. That, I don't mind this one. This is better than the first one, I think, by the looks of it. Not in, in, in damage, but certainly in load. Distributor power and thermal load is really good on that. So we'll, we'll take that one. And now we'll do the next one. Grade 5 efficient. And preview. And roll the dice. Okay, this didn't hit very well, and neither did this so much. Armor piercing though is up 7%, integrity is up 7%. Uh, this is okay. If I was going to try a re-roll, it would probably be on this one first at the moment. Let's just apply it though. So I've got to remember now, it's the third one. And let's try. These are only uh, small hard points, these ones. Um, okay, it didn't go in the blue, but it's still 47% better than what it was. Now the question is, do I need to re-roll any of these? Should I have one, one, ugh, I can't even say it, one re-roll on this one? Fortini, hey, how you doing? Fortini the, the fuel rat. Just finished what what I'm doing now. I'm upgrading my weapons. Just uh, uh, changing to efficient pulses, so that I can see how long I can fire at, uh, fire for. Uh, experimentals, yeah. I mean, Kathina says that they're not worth it, but I would like to have tried one. But I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a roll here, and see if I can get a better roll than I did. Let's have a look and see what room for improvement we have. Plenty. Lots of blue there. Plenty of room for improvement. Let's see if we can get some here. So yeah, let's do it. And I have to pick up some cadmium at some point. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, it's a bit more power draw, but the distributor draw is up massively. The thermal load is up massively and the damage has slightly improved. Integrity is up quite a bit. Oof. Damage per second, yeah, we can see that. Armor piercing down 7%. Is that a factor? Is that a reason to discard this? Hmm. On mine, I used to have Scramble, uh, Thermal Shock, let's have a look. Concordant, I'd never use. Scramble, I used to use. Allows hull strikes to potentially trigger random malfunctions, this one. It's worth having them, just because they look cool. Strikes heat to shields. Yeah, phasing sequence. Modulating burst by design defeat shielding. A small amount of damage is able to bleed through the shields and attack the target's hull at the cost of mana damage reduction. 
and emissive experimental that causes strikes to envelop the target in energetic particles, significantly amplifying its signature. Okay, I don't need that one. That's in case they're doing stealth, I suppose. So thermal shock and scramble spectrum were the two that I used to use. I'd have I'd have one thermal, one scramble on the on the mediums, and one thermal, one scramble on the smalls. That's what I would have done. So, okay, let's stay without and see how we get on. I'm going to apply this because I've got more blues than I have reds, so I like that. Right then. So, I think we're kind of done with that. I just want to pop into outfitting quickly. Uh, oh, I tell you what, we can look. Oh, what is going on there? Some clipping on the ground behind me there. That was weird. You see that? Look at this. You can see the ground there. What's going on? Okay. I love the animation to these weapons coming out though. But this isn't where I wanted to be, really, I suppose. But anyway, hard points. So, pulses. Oh, didn't want to do that. No, don't click on it. Right, there we go. Okay, so, breach damage 2.7, rate of fire. Uh, just looking at. I already know the thermals and stuff are going to be good. <coughs> Um, Fatini, any news on Sirius? Yeah, as I said, I haven't really touched it yet. Um, it's kind of a work in progress at the moment, so I suppose it could go out as a work in progress, but I really want to put some finishing touches on a few things. I have some um, SRV commands I want to put in. Um, high beam and normal headlight logic, stuff like that. And uh, once I get that to a point where I'm happy, but I need to dedicate time to it, uh, time which I'm, I seem to be like, you know, I wake up, get up in the mornings and I've, I've got a, always something to do, so it's kind of taking up my time at the moment. But I will get round to it, I promise. So I'm just looking at the armor piercing here, I've got 37, 35 damage on that one is 3.1 and 2.9 so this one's causing more armor piercing but it's less damage and this one's the other way around power draw it's peanuts isn't it not 0.3 and not 0.4 it's absolutely it's nothing integrity is yeah, more or less the same ish breach damage 2.5 and 2.7 okay and these bottom two Damage per second is more or less the same. Damage is the same. Integrity, wow. This one's 53, this one's 41. Okay, what's going on here? I have a... How did this happen? I have an unengineered multi-cannon. That's the one that sits at the bottom. So these two do most of the work because it's it's pretty you know you've got a I usually find if I'm pointing these in the right place that this one can't reach because it's it's restricted movement right who's the multi cannon who's the multi cannon uh, engineer because I might need to go there We'll see if we can kill a few people on the way. Uh, so I want to check a couple of things on my right hand tab here, my right hand uh, view screen. So view engineers and multi, multi, multis. Todd the blaster. I'm assuming he goes to grade five.
Zachariah Nemo. Please don't tell me it's him. I've only grade one with this guy. Actually, it can't be. It's got to be Todd because I've got my other ones up to grade five anyway. So it has to be Todd. 254 light years away. Okay. Corrosive. I'll put corrosive on if I don't have corrosive on the other two. Yeah, thanks guys for everybody who told me that it was Todd. Um, so I'm now going to uh, get myself over there. I'm sure I've got him bookmarked, but I keep forgetting to go there. Uh, is it Trophy Camp? It is indeed. And it is bookmarked. Right. Trophy Camp, let's see. And if we can get some combat along the way, possibly. 18 jumps. Uh, so now, the pip assignment in combat, for me, would be uh, probably something like that. No, hold on. There we go. Four, four in there, and two in there, or possibly three and three, depending on the ship I'm taking on. But I can, s now with the efficient uh, lasers, well, let's get let's get launched and let's see how long we can fire these lasers for in four pips, three pips, and two pips. We'll take a look. If you have the materials, put incendiaries on the two huge multi cannons. Yeah, if I've not already done that, I'll have to check. And again, forgive me for the quality of the uh, of the what you call it, the planet terrain. It's the best I can do on this laptop without... Well, it's the best I can do on this laptop and maintain 60 frames. If I am maintaining 60. Well, there's my frames per second. It looks like I haven't got it V-synced either. Um, let's have a look. I'm on 73. I don't know what, how much of a difference this is going to make. I probably should get away from this pad first. Landing gear retracting. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, graphics. So, <clears throat> let's see if I can just change texture quality. Um, yeah, you see I've got all this on low 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 it's so terrain quality let's go to medium see if we can do that it would be nice if they had that thing that a lot of games have got that auto configure that it, it reads your system and auto configures but it doesn't well whatever I haven't taken an FPS hit either let's uh, give that one more one more go And then we will definitely get into combat. High, and I probably need to go high here as well. Let's see what that does to the old frames. Okay. This doesn't look too much different, but that's probably the nature of this place. Yeah, I got that, Kathuna. Yeah, it is similar to the Anaconda. What I used to do is tip the nose upwards so that m my target would be um, just slightly underneath the nose, and that would enable all three multi cannons to fire. Now, I just want to get away from bruise placed. I want to be out of firing range, which I think, what the hell is this? 
Ooh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay. Hmm. I hope my live stream's still running. Sometimes the internet drops where I am. It hasn't dropped while I've been on a live stream so far. I'm assuming now that I am out of uh, fire range. Okay, so let's take a look. Stream's still good, thank you. Right, so if I put all pips to weapons, um, it's it's gonna. I'm only gonna fire the pulse lasers, obviously. Um, yeah. So let's just see what it's like with all with just the pulses. So you can see that the uh, capacitor is just not doing very much at all at all so I yeah I can literally just put an elastic band around the trigger of the joystick and just leave it running okay so now let's try with full full into shields and weapons firing so now my shields, I'm able. Now it's coming down, but it's it's going to be ages, I think, or well, long enough. Oh God! I've just noticed I've got my fire group set up badly. How did that happen? You're supposed to be on there, and you're supposed to be there. No, wait a minute, what the hell am I doing here? There we go. What a very strange setup this is. Which idiot did this? Right, let's try again. Because the multi, the bottom multi cannon was, was firing. Okay, so just lasers only then. As you can see, the, the, I'm going to be able to fire these forever. Well, a long time. Let's just say a long time. Right, I can't be asked to wait for it to, uh, to thing me. And the recharge, it's coming up fairly quickly-ish with two pips. And now let's just give it everything. So. All multi cannons, all pulse lasers, everything firing with two pips. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's okay. And of course, if I went to three pips, it would last even longer and my shields would still be pretty strong. I don't even care what that point of interest is. Try three three. three. Sorry, two. I just got a bit too late. I will if I get into a combat scenario, um, I will definitely try three three. Just give me a second, guys. I just need to take off my headset because I think my heater has gone off. One second. Yes, it had gone off. It's on, it's on one of those timer things. Uh, right, are there any... ...reses or whatever? No. 
Oh. Okay, Brownie, thanks for stopping by, man. And, yep, yeah, have a good night. And hopefully catch you on the next one. Yeah, I I will come come to beams at some point. I'll I'll store some of these um some of these weapons at some point and we'll be trying different combinations I'm sure. <laughs> oh, deadly anaconda. What a shame he's uh, security. I would have liked to have pulled him pulled him in and uh had a word, but he's not wanted. So I think I've lost my route to good old Todd. Look at the FPS on that. The frames have just dropped right down there. Frame shift drive charging. Eighteen. Oh God. Yeah, so I'm not at full capacity yet until I do this bottom multi-cannon. But I certainly have got enough firepower to be going on with, that's for sure. So, if we recap it then, we've got two medium um, efficient beams. We have, sorry, pulses. Two medium efficient pulses, we've got two small efficient pulses. Um, which we can fire all day at getting the shields down, which is no problem. And then we have two, hu uh, two huge multi cannons which contain overcharge and overcharge. Show me this one again for a second. Yeah, okay. So both grade pipe overcharged on these. Um, if there is any experimental effect, I'm assuming it would tell me there, but there isn't. And an unmodified one. Which is kind of bizarre. Not quite sure how I managed to modify the top two and not do the bottom. Two huge beams. Yeah. How? When you're using the two huge beams, what? What? Um, I'm assuming. Well, I'm not going to assume. What? What engineer up, upgrade do you have on those? And also, how do you? How does it work? How do you manage the heat? Do you have decent heat? And can you fire them for a while? A good long while? Uh, it's interesting to see other people's builds on the same ship. The only thing that puts me off beams, beams were always my favourite at, uh, at one time, but the only thing that puts me off them now really I suppose is the heat factor and the amount that you can fire them for, whereas these pulses, they just forever. Efficient, yeah, you see now that's the best way to go. Brings your heat down, brings your power down. Yeah, efficient beams. It's efficient is a really good solution. I think it's, it seems to be. Yeah, yeah. You can just fire them forever, and if your shields are strong, that where they can, you know, where they can withstand the firing back you're getting while you're taking your time, if you like. Um, at bringing the other ship down, then you can really just sit there, take a take a a bashing from the NPCs, and just take down whatever's in front of you. Really, I was certainly getting that with the with the cutter build that I had in the in the beta, um, which has. If you don't know, obviously I have a video of that on my uh, on my channel, and um, 
I was just able to just go into a conflict zone and just basically sit there and just wait for big ships to appear and just fire at them. I was no longer put off by elite anacondas anymore because the cutter just cut them down and that was fun. I enjoyed it. On the vet. Oh yeah, I don't know what. Oh yes, that's what I was going to look for. After I've done this jump, I'm going to look at my ship's uh, stats on the right-hand panel there, on the systems panel. That's what I meant to do. Four thousand megajoules. But isn't there something about having? I think Kathina mentioned it where. You can have less megajoules, but more resistance, effectively doubling what you would have r had raw. So if you've got like, I think the example Kathina used was having 1,500 megajoule shields, but if you have 50% resistance, that means obviously every shot that's hitting you is only getting 50% damage. So you're you're effectively looking at 3,000 megajoule shields so yeah now what have I got here uh, wrong one so my shields are okay you see my shield there is 1552 and my thermal resistance for the sake of 1% is is fifty percent right? So we're looking at three thousand megajoules effectively, right? If you like, and of course they're biweaves, so they're going to come back quickly as well. My explosive resistance is sixty percent, which is brilliant. Uh, the armor isn't so impressive, but the idea is not to get to the armor because the shields will stay up that's that's the plan that is the plan what is this chime chime okay chemetulo I'm gonna call that chemetulo I should be looking for CZs and reses. Yes, I remember you saying, Fortini, last time that you had uh, prismatics. Um, but no, by weaves on this one. Yes, Commander Branats, I have got not prismatics, I've got by weaves. But they're very s strong still. If you need healing in the combat, Rusty, I'm around. Are you? Uh, okay. If you're if you're in the area, and I can find some combat place, then I'm basically looking for one that's on my journey to the engineer, the Todd, the blaster so-called because he likes curries no no that's not right that's not true at all but um yeah that would be cool to have you hope hopefully i won't need any healing but it would be nice to uh, have you in battle um along with me there and we can uh, kill some uh, mofos <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah, some of the boosters are resistance augmented and some of them are heavy duty. So that's basically increasing the amount of shields and then augmenting that. Kathina will obviously correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's basically it. Just beefing your shields up a bit more than the norm and then the augmented ones will do their little uh, job there. Something like that, anyway. Drive 
what is the easiest way to rank up with a power? Um, by doing the modification, going to the, going the, oh, with a power, sorry, I'm thinking about engineer. Do you know what? I don't do power play. So there must be somebody on this chat here that can help you. But I don't, I just do not engage in power play at all. I did once for about an hour. It might be something I would get into at a later stage, actually, um, and, you know, just to see what it's about. But it's never been really one... It's never really been one for me. Is, is there any value in doing power play f f if I was after, say, some specific weapons that I can't get other anywhere else? You know, sp special weapons that you can only buy or get hold of if you're allied with a, a specific power. Look at all this unexplored stuff. Oh, you know why I'm not picking up any stuff? It's because I need to... Uh, I need to descan it. Oh, I've put my interdictor on there. That was silly. Um, yeah, I'm going to change this. There we go. But wait, no, I don't have pulse lasers on that one. Okay, we're good. Uh, so D scan on secondary, which is where I like it. I prefer hitting the uh, space bar to do that. Whoops. Okay, let's keep Friendship jumping. Well, is it still the case when you leave a power that they're gonna that they send um, ships after you Four, for a while? Yeah, biweaves are really good, but you, what you really need to get on the biweaves is a very, very good, or the best roll you can get on thermal resistance grade 5. Just get the absolute best roll you can get, so get a lo lot of materials for that. I still need to probably refine mine a little, I would say. Get some good thermal resistance on it. But obviously it stands to reason, I suppose, that you would go and try and get the best you could. That's the whole idea. Special modules, really. Ooh, what are you on there? The special modules are the only non-RPG reason for playing power play. Hmm. My G5 thermal prismatics are almost impenetrable, but if they do go down... Abby, do you... Fortini, do you do, um... Play of, um... PvP? With, the, with that ship? Or is it... PvP that you're talking about? Because obviously it's a different scenario with, with a PV, PvP than it is to, uh, with PvE. Just looking for it. on the off chance there might be a conflict zone there. Aren't they rubbish against the multi cannons all commanders are using? Um, well, this is it. I mean, if I was in P PvP, maybe I'd have a different build. I guess I guess I would say that this ship is built for PVE. Um, it, it, you might be right there, Adrian, about the... I don't know, Kathina maybe he would know more about that. But you could, you don't have to do heat resistance, then you could do... 
uh, what would it be for multi cannons um, kinetic? You could just do um, you could just do a, a kinetic resistance or something like that, I suppose. If you knew that the that the meta that, pe that the players were using was um, multi cannons, which it seems to be. I mean, a lot of players seems I've seen a few players' ships where every every hard point is a multi cannon. Uh, it it seems to be very effective against. Uh, well, pretty pretty effective against shields and really effective against the hull, but the downside is you have to uh, rearm those. You have to, uh, yeah, not rearm, you have to... Oh, hello. Look at this one. Not the star, the on the bottom left there. Independent feudal. I've never seen feudal that I, that I can remember. Don't cross the streams. Right. I don't know. Should I? I don't even know what this is. Uh, I did. I, I didn't even check. Where am I? I'm down here. It, oh, it's a Daz. It's a Star Class Daz. That would probably explain its colour. For those who are into washing powders. Ooh, I'm not going in there. Look at that uh, look at that outside line. Unless I can go in here. There's no way I'm going to dip down any further. Okay, I got you. Hold on. Alright, you can get me out of here now. I won't be using this supercharge, but it uh, be interesting to see what I got. 26. Yeah, 50% increase. But I, I already have a course plotted, so... I've had so much practice surfing the Neutron Highway on the way to Colonia that um, I kind of got used to going into the jet streams. I just, it's just a little bit of a different story with a Corvette because it's a bit bigger. The Asp was easy to plonk in there. But I have lost a Corvette in a jet stream once. Well, what I call a jet stream. Uh, whatever you want it, whatever it's called. I don't know what the proper term for it is. But, um, yeah, I lost a Corvette in there. Because I made the fatal mistake of going inside it. And at the same time, getting a little bit too close. And... It emergency jumped out of Super Cruise, which meant I was stuck in it, and I started to get literally just ripped apart. It was taking ages as well to rip the ship apart, so I ended up self-destructing. Decided to go on my own terms. Okay, we're just approaching half a tank. Another one? Hold on, this one's unexplored. So I'll be having this one. Oh, it looks like we have to go through it anyway. I reckon we can handle that. As long as it doesn't the emergency stop me. OK. 
kite, you can leave now. No, point in the direction that I'm pointing you. There we go. That's it. There you go. Easy. <laughs> Famous last words. 26, 7. That's uh, not too bad. Alright, uh, yep, yeah, Adrian, thanks for stopping by, see you on the next one, man. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> hit that, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, come on. Oh, I should be, yeah, the moment we do this um, multi-cannon, it's uh, it's combat time, and then I think that'll be it for this stream. But what else is there to do on the vet? What else can I do to it to make it, apart from uh, basically just tweaking the rolls of the dice and try and get some better, try and get some better rolls of the dice? And don't know what else I can do to it really. I've got the shields sorted, more or less. I've got the weapons more or less sorted. You want to join me? Okay. Uh, you need to be in the Rusty Dog group if you're not already a member. If you want, if you're, if you want, just join the Rusty Dog group and. Uh, But, yeah, I'm going to be heading to Todd the Blaster, and then from there I'll be finding the nearest high-intensity Rares or CZ. How many have I got to go? Two jumps. Two jumps, so I'm pretty much there. And also, Kathleen, if you want, come and join, three of us. Thrusters. Ah, okay. Um, thrusters. Good question. I'm not sure what I've got on this. I think I've got... Um, no, I don't think at all. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure where I am on thrusters with this, to be honest. But I know I have to be careful because that's... Thrusters upgrades is what really takes the, uh, the power. Your, your module power. This is really where it goes there. Look at that, 30%. So I do have... Oh, there you go, Grade 5 Dirty Drive. So, again, it's just a case of... Oh, look at this, my power usage is down to 99 now. Which means I don't really need to use any uh, power management settings here. They're not going to come into a play anymore. I was 101% before, but now that I've got efficient pulses, I've dropped under the 100, which is absolutely ideal. Did you do the G5 charge enhanced distributor yet? Three, two, one, Don't know. I don't know. It's like I'm flying somebody else's bloody ship. Um, I don't think I did, did I? I? No, I don't think I did. If I if I remember rightly, I think we never got round to it because because we I can't remember. I know there's a reason, but I I don't think we did. Hold on. Let's have a look at the power distributor, which I believe is there. High charge capacity grade 4. So, no. Charge enhanced grade 5. Not yet. Um, 
and that's 8A. So who's the who's the grade five engineer for that then? I wish it would list it there. But that's not something I need to do right now in this video. So off we've got a trophy camp which is really close by. Oh, you know what? I might even engage uh, Sirius for the combat. Just to do my pit management, if I even need any. Four into shields, two into weapons, and just leave it there all day, I suppose. The Dweller. Cool, thanks guys. Brilliant. Full Metal, hi. Welcome to the stream. Do you know, it's it's funny, apart from Steep, other people's streams that I go to and watch, I don't see those people in other people's streams. Hmm. Okay. Unless I'm just watching the wrong streams. I think maybe I'm just not a member of the big club. Right. Trophy camp. Come on. Come into view. There we go. Come on. Get to the top of my screen. Okay, there we go. And... Orbital flight engaged. Give me 45 degrees. Oh, almost, 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 almost. I'm coming in too quick, possibly. Can you slow down a little bit more? Please. I thought I'd... I actually thought it would have slowed down enough by the time I hit glide, but... Uh, whatever. Scotty D has joined us. Hi, Scotty. Yeah, I'm just going to boost uh, 11J to Todd's place. Oh, 11 jumps, okay. No, I'm just going to... Oh, you, you're, okay, so you're 11 jumps away from me, that's... Well, I'll tell you what, Fatini, why don't you see if you can find a place where there's going to be maybe uh, ringed planets, where there's going to be maybe res sites or whatever, or, or um, a civil war system close by here that we can pop into the conflict zone, or a, wars, uh, a war state, or a civil war state, whatever. Jeff Blackburn, hi, welcome. Still maintaining now 50 people apparently on the stream, which is uh, really cool. Right, I'm coming in a little bit too radical, so I'm just going to ease off a little. it hits that seven there we go and now we can point it up oh bloody hell they're gonna have to fix this bug it's not really a bug but it is if you're a voice attack user the uh, trophy camp should be at the top Fixed. That was fixed in the beta, but didn't make the live build. Weird. Uh, and I might be coming in a little bit too fast. There we go. Yeah, you can you can go up if you want a little bit. 
Oh, God, it's keys. Honestly, I'm going to fix all my all my key assignments and joystick button assignments for the next video because I'm not happy with this at the moment. Really, you want me to go down? Okay. Ross Thomas, hi Ross. Ross 1067 is in civil war. Okay. Hopefully that will be close by then. Thank you. Right, let's do all this rubbish. And what I don't know is if I've got materials to do what I want to do now. Okay, what are we doing on this one? What should we do? What should we go with here? Rapid fire. It's one that I've not usually used. Okay, Thena, any suggestions? Another overcharge. I can't do overcharge. Oh, yes, I can. I just couldn't do that one. Why? 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 Polymer capacitors. Oh, really? I've run out of those. Okay, so military and authority ves vessels, fine. So, Bunda. Go to Bunda and go because it's a anarchy site and they have conflict zones there. And you can take out all the authority vessels you want. Hmm. Overcharged with corrosive. Done. Now, look at this. Modified embedded firmware is a bugger to get for me, capturing them from settlement data points. I hate doing them, so I hope I don't have to use too many. Right, here we go then. Grade 5 overcharge multi, and that's going to... Uh, let's see what it does to my power as well. Puts me back over the 100% maybe. Oh, that's not a good roll. It could have done a lot better. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. But I don't think I'm going to be doing the uh, experimental on this one because I believe I can get a much better roll of the dice the next time. Okay. Plenty of room for improvement in the top. And a little bit at the bottom. Yeah, come on. Come on, give me a good one. Mmm, yeah. Okay, so my ammo clip was 74, now 69. Distributor draw, not too fussed about. Damage is better. Oh. You know, I'm not, I'm not really fussed with the autoloader thing because it doesn't take too long to reload anyway. I mean... I've got two other multi cannons that'll be firing as well. I don't know whether to take this or not. I think I will. I don't know. Do I take this one? Because I have to put this on and I'm going to drop down to grade three. Yeah. So I don't whether to try another try another roll. Uh, what the hell? Let's just do this. I'm not bothered about having a smaller clip size because because it doesn't really get used as much as 
the others. So what the hell, go it. Uh, right, now while I'm here, and while I've got the materials, I'm just quickly going to bounce myself back up to grade 5. So, um, yeah, I could do that one, but I won't. Let's have a look, see what's the easiest route. 20, 19 and 10, okay, we'll do that one. Discard. Do I got that for free? Look, the auto loader. I'll do another one on this. Don't you dare click apply. Otherwise, I'll be on the forums screaming for an undo button. Right. Anything else I've got tons of? No, only four vanadiums there. I don't want to risk that one. Yeah, I'll do that one. Oh, wait a minute, though. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, now we're on grade four. I believe. So let's see what we can do here. 9, 17, and 11, same deal. Okay, let's do that. So two more discards, and then we're back on to grade 5. So the next time I come here, I don't have to sit through this. So, preview, view, generate, and discard. And finally, I don't really like to keep doing the same one all the time, but I don't think I'm too fast this on this occasion. All right then. Right, back up to grade five and ready to go. Right, if memory serves without looking at the chat, is it this one? Civil War. Okay. So, Ross tense. Ross. Uh, Ross 1067. Rom. Hi, Rusty. What have I missed? Nothing. Just getting started. Yep. I'm on my. Oh. 9, 10. This. Okay. Just on to the third hour now, isn't it? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, yeah, just really done the weapons on the ship and about to go into combat. So anybody who wants to pop into my group and meet me in Ross 1067, feel free to do so. Send me a wing invite or whatever. Or I'll invite you or my landing gear's not working. That's because I need to take off, you stupid bloody pillar. It's because the button that raises the ship is normally on my joystick. And I'm pressing it, thinking that the ship's going up, and it's not. How many jumps now? Oh god, really? I'm <sighs> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I will get that friend request in just a second. Is that really the closest one? Wow. 
Wow. Okay, what about war? Any wars? Oh, hello. I'm going to try this place. BD01, BD-01-2784. I can't, I can't do 14 jumps. It's just getting tiring now. This was like, oh, I might as well be exploring. Here we go then. No, I, I, not the incendiary, I did the corrosive, didn't I? Yeah, I've got corrosive on it. On, the, on that multi cannon. Oh, 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 you mean do. Oh. Do incendiaries on the, on the other two. Yeah. I could have. Okay, I'll. Okay, I'll, I'll put that down as a future add-on to do a future because uh, I'm not going to venture too far away from here so I will I will get that get that done providing I've got enough materials to rank me back up to grade 5 um, one more time but I will I will do the incendiaries Kiwi guy hello welcome man I did mention you earlier on. I'm waiting for you to come and yeah, three hours in, so just getting started. <laughs> Not really. I'm gonna have a little bit of combat and then uh, I have to call it a day. Just, just have a quick look and see how she is, and then maybe I might do a, an offline video later on in the week. No promises though, but I'll try and just do a, a just purely combat and just see how the ship handles. Let's see how much we get done here. Hello. Conflict zone. Right here. Where I am. High intensity. One, two, three, four. Okay. There's plenty right here. So, I am in LHS. I don't even know which one I'm in. I am in LHS 2494. Commander Phantomus. Thank you for joining and uh, Catch you on the next one, man. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry, Scotty. I've, I've moved to a different system. Sorry. But if you're quite welcome here, LHS 2494. And it would help if I was heading in the right direction. I'll be honest with you, I would have preferred a res, but uh, in at the deep end, eh? Okay. I'm just going to quickly have a look and see if I've got any pending uh, requests. Probably not, but because well, I did check before I started the stream so we're good to go oh good man there's no point in me messaging you if you're watching the stream is there this orange bug there right then Um, let me just do my, I don't think I'm going to need that, but I'm going to send you a wing invite.
Okay. Agar agaronum. Agar agaronum. Do. Right, I better get the pips ready then. I'm gonna try initially I'm gonna try four two um, shields and weapons. And we'll see how we get on with that. And it would help if I also switched into primary one. Nice to see I've got my fire group set up properly this time. That must mean that uh, when I jumped into that distress call and took those ships out that I was firing lasers and the bottom multi-cannon without even realising it. Uh, can you send me a wing, a Wong invite? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you a Wong invite, yeah. Uh, I can indeed. That is Fatini. Okay. I'm going to pick. Oh god, I don't know which one. I'm gonna be the national I'm gonna be on the side of the nationalists then. I don't even think I have a button. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a button that lets me do next hostile. I don't think. Oh, Anaconda. Expert. Firing at me. And. Whoa, three ships firing at me actually. So no wonder my shields are taking a little bit of a pounding there. I'm trying to get the nose up so that so that the bottom multi cannon fires as well. Thermal overload. Looks like I'm gonna have to go three and three. What the hell's that? Why is he why is he got a cloud around him? Oh my weapons run out really quickly. Regeneration shield. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I just got fixed. Oh, nice. Look at that shield going up. Wow, what, a, what weird with that smoke. Right, I can target my uh, enemies. Thank you for the healing. I wasn't impressed with the... Uh, with the pips going down. However, if I make better use of the uh, multi cannon and only fire it once the shields go off. Under attack. I'm not really getting the chance to pick a ship at the moment. Oh my god, I'm really under attack now. Every everybody's attacking me now. Every bloody red symbol on there is having a go. It must kill Sir Rusty. Sorry if there's anybody uh, German listening, that wasn't meant to be offensive. Oh my god. 
I hate Vipers. They are the worst ship to deal with. They're constantly in a different place where you want them. <laughs> Even to the point where I would be attacked by a viper in a CZ and just refuse to fight him because I just can't be bothered. Right, now let me see if I can pick... Oh, that's the Kathina. Python. There you go. I'll take a python down. Once I get my controls back... I can't see the live chat by the way, sorry. It's, it's blanked on me at the moment. Try and restore it. There we go. Hopefully, I've got his attention there. Nothing out there that's big, just vultures. Not that vultures are big, but uh, I mean, there's no anacondas or pythons out here. Well, Cathina's probably been healing me, which is why my shields are still up. Oi, where are you running to? Fire the multis until you've targeted. So it looks like three and three is a fairly decent balance. Uh oh, what's happened with uh, Zarazenia there? He's got uh, full purples. Come on, Vulture, get a bit closer. Okay, Kathina got that message. Anaconda. Problem is, he's going to be dead before I get to him, by the looks of it. Yep, he will be. No point. No point. Never mind. Another one. Seven kilometers away. I need to get closer in, I think. He is regenerating his shield, so I may have time to get there. I just fire on him and let him come to me. Saves me chasing him. They always take the bait. It should be made so that if you chaff, you can't fire. Just kidding. Bring it. It's 
So the shield's gone down a little bit, but I am being attacked by another ship though. And I'm hoping that they're going to regenerate fairly quickly. There, once I get the nose pointed right at him so that the okay. so that the underneath uh, the underneath can Oh, the underneath multi-cannon can fire as well. And then we're okay. Oh, I nearly wiped him out in one go there. I don't know why I stopped firing. Another pithen. Where are you? Target oh, come on, save some for me. See, the shields are already up again, back to their hundred percent. Remembering, of course, that these are um, by weave shields only. Under attack by what? A vulture and something else. Well, I'll take the vulture. Wow. Three ships on me now. Plus the one I'm taking on. Taipan, who's released that? Type 9 Heavy, eh? Whoa! I guess that's me getting healed. Yep, Kathina's my doctor. It's like in Call of Duty when they you can put a bandage on your teammate. I don't get a chance to knock down Type 9 heavies too often. Oh, he's using a shield cell booster, bank thing, recharge, whatever. Shield cell bank. Isn't he? Or trying to? Oh no, that's a different, um, that's a different effect. You're welcome, Tom. As if I've got time to look at the like, the chat. Where am I? Come on, anacondas, pythons, they're easier to hit. These little poxy things. Oh, it's going to get close. Ah. Where's that vulture then? There he is. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Ejected heat sink. I've never seen that under a player before, but there you go. Target destroyed. Under attack. Yeah, I'm being under attack, but there's a Type 9 Heavy who's also one of them. So he's going to get uh, blitzed. Wow, I've actually got a shield ring down. Here, take some of this. Yeah, 
I didn't think he'd sit there for too long. I can wing invite. That moment <laughs> I get a chance. Uh... Right, I have a Viper. I'm not even going to bother with him. He's attacking me, but I'm not even going to bother. Can't be bothered with him. More hassle than they're worth. Where's he? He's over... Uh, he's over here. Obviously, if you have a eight, a class eight shield on your by with on your cutter, and you give it a really good thermal resistance, it, your shields are going to last even longer than this. Especially if you get these shield boosters, plenty of shield boosters, and split them between heavy and, and augmented. It really does tank up the. Uh, the shields a lot. Oh, I hate it. When you press target next hostile and it's a... it's a, it's a HE uh, missile. <laughs> it's not really a hostile as in a ship, is it, really? So... I don't know why it's part of the targeting system, to be honest. Well, I've got two ships supposedly firing at me, but my shields are not being touched at the moment. No point taking on that Cobra, he's already dead. Right, let's get this guy. These are all little small fish, though, really. And why can't we see AI in corvettes and cutters? You know what? I don't know where I am at the moment. There it is. There's so much crap on the radar with all the things that have been dropped. Yes, I've got three other ships on me. Yeah, your shields didn't last long. Big ships taking on small ships is... <laughs> it's like... And they just take ages, because you've got the jitter of the bloody lasers. I mean, look at that jitter. How am I supposed to hit tiny ships from such distances? Three ships flashing. So therefore they're trying to attack me, I guess. Commander Zarazini has got him sorted out. Viper Vulture, Viper Vulture. This is all we have. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think I would have fancied that collision. That was very close. And I've just lost my live chat. There we go. Jay off. Good night, man.
Yes, the Corvette is definitely a warship, no doubt. Probably built more for offence than defence, seeing as how the cutter got better shields. I suppose as well, the more of us that are taking out these little ships, the more chance that uh, more ships are going to re uh, respawn, and hopefully we'll get. Oh, oh, oh! I got. I have an anaconda. Le Leave him to me. It's only a master, though, so it's a kind of a. Not much of a battle, really. Oh, you can chaff all you like. Again, he's got a cloud around him again. That's that particle weapon or whatever it is. Uh, ramming there. That's for using your chaff. The hell did I just press? Oh. Target destroyed. But it's not doing the scoop. It seems then we have a pretty decent ship. I mean, I know I'm getting my shields repaired sometimes by Kathina, but I think all in all, I've got, what, two and a half pips to systems. If I had three pips or four pips, my shields would be, you know, even better. I've got half a pip to engines just to give me a little bit of boost when I need it on, on occasion, and three pips to weapons. And it seems to be a pretty good formula. Obviously, the, the, the ships that are coming at me. Sorry, I just need to move because my, my back is killing me here. Um, the ships that are coming at me, are, although they're anacondas and pythons and stuff, they're not like... Uh, well, at least I haven't come across anything. Well, there's a deadly asp scout there, but the big ships haven't been deadly that I've noticed. And certainly uh, no elite ships, which is... Uh, Disappointing. So I've got a vulture that wants to have a bit of a go, eh? Did I just get hit there? I didn't come off the the fire button in time there when crossed my path. Well, there you go, toast. The cloud might be the corrosive effect. Yeah, it may be, uh, but I know there was a I know there was an upgrade that had the particles where it puts the particles. That could be from one of the other commanders here. Look at this colour effect here on <laughs> Zarasina's ship here. Who's attacking him? Oh, is it? 
Yeah, it's Casina repairing him. Okay. Anything interesting in the area? Cove Asp, Asp Explorer, I suppose. Little fat thing. Casina's just repairing everybody. Which is really cool. This is the first time I've actually been in a a wing where I had uh, a wingmate actually being able to repair my, sh my shields. Ooh, I just got a knock there again. Unless one of my injectors is not working properly. It's given me a rough a rough idle. What am I talking about? Yeah, the ships here are a bit naff. Eagles, Cobras, Python. We have a Python in the building somewhere. Hey, hey, going somewhere? Come here. Expert. Oh, you know what? I've got a ship launch fighter here. The problem is I can't launch it, I don't think, because I uh, I haven't got my pilot active. I don't believe... I could launch it myself. If I don't have my pilot active, can I go out in the fighter and have them still fly this ship if my crew isn't active? while I eat my earth sandwich. <laughs> well, that's good in earth for me. Sorry, bad one. Should I? If I do this, does... Can I do... Will the crew fly my ship here? Well, what the hell? Can I? Your ship will be a sitting duck. Okay, cancelled. Thank you. You got that message just in time. Yeah, I hate that. That the crew's not always active. When we're soon going to be having um, player teleportation from ship to ship. Why can't we do it with the crew? Okay, anyway. Whatever. Eagle. Another good test, I suppose, would be just to sit here and just be attacked and see how long I can stay here for. But there's nothing to compare it against, so it would be a pretty fruitless experiment. Under attack. Um. I was trying to think if I can get any of these three commanders to shoot at me. And just to see how long it takes to get my shields down. But as these are commander ships, I'm guessing not too long at all. Because that's what Cornelius used to do. He would get a ship, a shipmate, to uh, fire at him and then test it with another set of shields or whatever, or armor. And he'd have his uh, his figures of how long this lasts, how long that lasts. Send in your missiles, I don't care. Yep, bring your missiles in. 
I've got 60% explosive resistance. So only 40% of your power is getting through. Oh, it's too far away. Is it coming for me? It's bloody slow if it is. Come on then, seek a missile. <coughs> It's coming for me. Oh, wow. I wonder what it would take to destroy one of those. Probably a laser without any jitter on it. Too busy concentrating on the pips. I want to be within a kilometre if I can. I'm sure I soon will be. Well, he's giving it everything here. I haven't even targeted any power plants or anything like that. Yep, it looks like you're right. I think it is the corrosive that's causing that cloud. He's toasted anyway now. Right, let's see how quick my shields can come back up. Unless, of course, I'm being healed. <laughs> yeah, the repair is... Yeah, it's what... It, the be repair basically the add-on, uh, the upgrade, and you, you fire at uh, your wingmates, and it will not harm them, instead it will heal. Pretty cool, and thank you Kathina for another shield recharge. I'm pretty sure that the cutter though had shields that was so much stronger. These The class 8s were just just fantastically strong. Right, who's my nearest hostile? Oh, H.E. Seeker. Yeah, he seems to get around. I'll do this guy. Oh, God. Forget that. Well, 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 we have a Ferdinand. It's Commander Full Metal. There we go, all commanders on screen. I think we, uh, whoops, I think we rule the, uh, I think we rule this combat conflict zone. We've taken it over. The A team here. Come here, little viper. You little, it's like trying to swat a fly getting a viper. take off my shield pips here just for a little while to give me a little bit of speed. 
Okay, well, he didn't last too long, did he? Ooh. God, this iPad is really pissing me off now. It's It keeps going into sleep mode every 30 seconds. chance at him. Oh, I've just realised we're in a, yeah, we're in a lawless system aren't we, so we're not gonna, we're not getting any money for any of this. Look at Kathina, purple. I didn't put any weapon modifiers on this. Oh, well, something's happening there. But it's not here, I don't think. Well, I think this anaconda is going to be my last kill of the evening, guys. I'm going to have to call it a night here. So I'll take this supposedly dangerous anaconda down. I don't know where I'm firing. There we go. There's your power plant gone. Right, I'm just going to exit the um, zone. Mres Padau Skura. Have I said that right? Well, there it is. Obviously, my shields are still up because I was, I was uh, helped. Yes, it's been brilliant. That was nice, uh, a nice bit of fun. That at the end. So we basically just spent a good hour looking for proto heat radiators. We got that. Um, had a go at the uh, weapons, getting the weapons uh, rejigged, re-engineered, re and finally four commanders winged up in a conflict zone. Fantastic. <coughs> so it's been great. Now, ah, there we go, I knew I could do it. So I think it's been rather successful and I'm quite happy with the Corvette build at the moment um, <clears throat> yeah I think the shields and the weapons are working pretty okay uh, obviously there are improvements to be made but you know I think basically the shields can be improved if, if I remember right I didn't get a fantastic roll on the let's take a look um, can I do it from here mm, no I need to be docked oh, I'm looking at the shield booster um, yeah let's take a look here I'm sure I can boost my shield health a bit a bit more and the thermal resistance as well get that a bit more up but those percentages the 42 the 49 the 60 it'd be nice 
to be able to beef those up a little bit higher if possible. I mean the explosive one is very good. So of the shield boosters I have, I've got, let's have a look, I've got three there. They're the A1s. So the A1s are all heavy duty, grade 5. Okay, so we've got three, uh, three grade A heavy duty. Uh, Biweave shields with heat resistant, uh, yeah, Biweave shields with thermal resistant uh, shielding on it, grade 5. And then we have three A class boosters, all running grade 5 heavy duty. And then further down, we have th uh, either two or three, I don't know, looks like two. Yeah, two more shield boosters, E rated for resistance augmented, because apparently getting the resistance augmented in A makes no, not much of a difference or no difference whatsoever. So I might as well get them in E's. So we did. Pulse lasers are all efficient, as you know with no uh, special weapons, uh, special experiments things on them. Grade 5 efficient and of course to finish off the two multi cannons are overcharged um, but I would like to re overcharge them again with incendiary rounds on both so even more firepower still to come on those and the bottom multi cannon is overcharged with a corrosive shell. That's pretty much the offense and the defense on this ship. And of course the usual the chaff and the heatsink which I haven't used because I just didn't even think about using them to be honest. Uh, interdictor kill warrant scanner. Uh, and obviously uh, thrusters, grade 5 dirty drives. Anything else I've got engineered here that I didn't mention? Power distributor is grade 4 high charge capacity, so more room to maneuver there to go up to grade 5. Frameshift drive, of course, is a is grade 5 increase. It's almost a standard fitting now, really, isn't it? That? Um, and I think that is it. A, a module reinforcement package of course, uh, class 5, and that makes my ship and I'm running at 99% power usage. And there we have it. Uh, the power plant as you can see has not been engineered, it's not overcharged, it's a stock power plant and it's not even going over my, my usage. I don't have to manage anything. So that's the ship that we have. So, yeah. I would like to now just say good night to everybody and thanks for everybody who joined in the wing and helped me out tonight. That was awesome. Great fun. Especially as you all had different ships. Uh, Ferdinand's an Anaconda and a Corvette. That was pretty cool as well, just to add that in there. And um, it was nice having people to heal. <laughs> you sound like Jesus. Right, so yeah, you're all welcome. Everybody saying thanks. You're all welcome, guys. Um, it's a pleasure. So I will hopefully catch you fairly soon. Uh, what are we today? We are Tuesday, going on to Wednesday now, so maybe Friday night, Saturday night for another live stream. Um, I'll try and think of something to do. So in fact what I'd like to do to be honest is go into my second account, my Oliver Hardy account and start pushing further in towards the uh, Great Annihilator. So if you guys are up for a bit more exploration and jumping jumping then and a conversation of course. So yeah you go fuel ratting for Tigny and uh, it's good yeah good good stuff and we must set up that video the fuel rat video we've got to set that up I haven't forgotten about that. So that's it guys I'm gonna end the stream here and
good night everybody and thanks and if you haven't subscribed well you know what I'm gonna say subscribe and then you'll know when I'm putting out more videos that's it then bye bye